ladies and gentlemen, welcome. 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 No, right, Crendor, that's 20 seconds ago. That, that's how that works. So, you know, streams are on a bit of a buffer, so that's about 20 seconds ago. If you try and sing along with the theme, it's already happened. It's already happened. It's done. No, actually, it's all, yeah, it's over. It's done. It's completely done. Okay, right. That's all right. I'll wait. Guys, I got a question. Well, no, 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 no. Right. Well, you see, the thing is, yes. if you wait, then I'm just going to keep going with my ideas. So, as we were saying, Mr. Robot, all right, Rick and Morty are going to come out, and Angela's going to be like, no. we can go back in time, and Rick and Morty will be like, Angela, we can go back in time, Angela, and then they're going to go back in time, and then she's going to be like, oh, jeez, Angela, and then everything's going to be fine. Is Anyone this else? you auditioning for your Rick and Morty, like, <laughs> fan dub? Is this, is this what's no. happening right now? <laughs> um, I'll have you know. Uh-huh. I'm very intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. My IQ is one of the highest. Right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> We're so excited to be here today. Yeah, you we can tell. are doing our year end spectacular. I mean, I've got an apple. I've got dude, some coffee. Let's, let's do it. And start by criticizing someone else's year end spectacular, the Game Awards. Woo! Oh, God. That's the best way to, to that's start That's the best out. way that to way start. Ours will either sound worse a fake or award show. Better. Fuck the Oscars. It, the be- Can we all agree the best <laughs> yeah. part of the Game Awards bar none was that man? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. Fuck yay. The <laughs> the, if, if you've the not seen The Wonder... Oh. Oh, mm. God. If you've not seen The Fuck. Wonders of Yosef... I mean, I love EA because they pay me, but, like, fuck EA, you For know? Fuck EA, right? Oh, hi, EA. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, right. hi, eh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing short of of pure brilliance. Uh, I I like the bit. It's like, oh, can we talk about it after? And, and Jeff's like, no, no, we no, we can't. It's that that was kind of wonderful, actually, oh. in many ways. Well, I'm going to talk anyway. And he just uh, keeps talking. He just like, wouldn't we really stop. Have to, we really have to stop. Watching the the clips of <laughs> of Jeff just like. Oh no! It was it was yeah. it was wonderful? It was a, one of two human moments in the show. Mm. <laughs> one of two. That's <laughs> absolutely true. One. Yeah. The other the, one was uh, the lifetime when achievement she award. Won the award. Well, now nah, I guess it's three then. Yeah, the the lifetime achievement award and uh, perhaps the actress who mm. played the character in Hellblade, who wasn't yeah. even an actress, who was just yeah, like that's I, the rest like, team. I wanted yeah. to hug her so bad. <laughs> And of course, chat being a cesspool was just filled with Ooh. people being like, God, she's so awkward. And I was like, fuck you, you unfeeling bastards. She's beautiful. <laughs> well, it's more, yep. more of a case of it's like you if you went anywhere near that stage, you would piss yourself and run away. Right. So, you know, but don't worry, that's never going to happen. <laughs> You'll never do anything in your life worth recognizing. So ding. Fuck EA. Oh. Fuck, EA. <laughs> fuck EA. And Twitch chat, apparently. Fuck both of those. <laughs> I love Twitch chat. Twitch chat's great. I Not also me. love Twitch chat unless it's a situation like an awards show where they're like, why moderate anything? Yeah. Unless Moderation's it's a situation where like, chat be chat. I'm there like, are All right. a number no, of people. Moderation's there. for losers. I'm just like, gotta bother. Mm. Other than that, the game advertisements, which was what the show. It, was it me? Am I being biased here, or were there more ads in this show than any of the previous Game this Awards seemed, shows? No, this, like, not totally feel... right. this seemed like E4. It's like the yes. next up from E3 with some awards sprinkled in, and, be, and they'd be like, uh, here's some awards. Uh, this one a thing, this one a thing, this one a thing, and now let's check out a brand new game. Well, yeah. but I think we that's talk like... about that, this co-optional podcast is brought to you by podcast. eBay. <laughs> eBay is eBay. selling you uh, this uh, this old. Oh my god, that thing! This controller. controller. And an Apple. Did you know apples and are on eBay? And this now water. At Sixty thousand dollars. This, this guy, I'll sell you a box. <laughs> Nothing's in this box, but 
I like the part it. where they hired someone solely to be backstage where nobody was <laughs> talking about eBay. Hey guys, welcome to the backstage. The, the backstage eBay area. Yeah. I, felt, I like, felt bad for We feel. felt bad for her. We were watching I, like, yeah. I feel so bad for this girl. Yeah, I was like, yo. But also, how do you get a job as easy as just read this Shilling thing about eBay. every now and then? <laughs> like, and not having to talk to anybody. Here. What like, is eBay gaming? Because <laughs> I, I don't. I have know. a real, real question. This is I've been reading comments, and I know that like there's a lot of people in our industry like who just the minute it ended, we're like, you know what? A lot of people are gonna shit on this because it was a lot of ads and stuff, but it costs a lot of money to run a award show. We're all and very aware if, of that. Right, 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 right. <laughs> with all that said, with all that said, maybe this is like a Jurassic Park scenario, which. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Like, <laughs> I understand it costs a lot of money to run We're an award show. the award show. <laughs> so yeah, but like, may maybe, maybe don't then. <laughs> maybe don't do an award show if it costs so much money. It's no or longer an award show. don't do it that show. way. Yeah. yeah. You guys well, know how make... much this show costs? At least $4 million right now. Right now? Yeah. Oh, we have just ticked over to five. Every <laughs> second we're on the air, it's like a some sort of south korean animation <laughs> yes. studio each second is millions of dollars we're it's okay though here. we're yeah, actually we're being, being powered by bitcoin so yeah. as yeah. the cost of the show goes up mm -hmm. so does the amount of money that bitcoin is worth so we don't mm -hmm. actually have to pay anything that's how economics works right yes absolutely yeah i so had to sell my player and known bandana to run this show he wow, did he actually damn. did do that i hear those yeah. are worth three million dollars she, yeah, it's worth eight now. That's when I sold it. <laughs> eight million Dogecoin, wow. maybe, but that's about it. <laughs> but I don't know if it was you, worth it. You have a very solid point, though, Jess. It's like, right, we understand. We have, it's as if some of these people are like, well, no, I bet nobody knows this fact that hiring out this really expensive venue and having all of this stuff is expensive. So, no, we, we do know that, yes. Yeah. But... If it requires that much sponsorship and that many ads to do it, then maybe you should rethink the show. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it's, I, I understand criticism of the show, and I also understand defending the show. But like, look at it from a real serious point of view. Like, if it costs so much money, the critique is, well, you're no longer an award show; you're a promotional tool for future games. Then. Maybe just change it so your promotional tool for future games just and be not the veneer of an award show. Like people would still watch because they want to see new shit. Like I just it's yeah. weird. It's weird to me. Yeah, I think there's definitely quite a bit of that. Uh it's mostly down to Jeff Keeley's desire to make something legitimate. But he knows probably more than anybody, because he dealt with Spike and the VGAs and everything prior to that, yep. and also some fairly cringeworthy promotional stuff that everybody knows about that he's had to do in the past that that isn't feasible business-wise. It's not feasible to create the game's equivalent of the Oscars without basically totally selling it out. And, you know, I, there's a question I have to ask. How pissed off must some of those advertisers be when they've spent a bunch of money advertising on this show and literally the next ad is their competitor? <laughs> like, we had PSVR directly followed by an Oculus Rift commercial. Yeah. Dog eat dog world, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so your plan was yeah. to just get every video game to advertise on your show and every company that makes video games to do that. Okay. I wonder yeah. how valuable those ads really were then. I bet you get, I bet uh, Sony paid like 100,000 more to get their ad first. It's possible. It's like, yeah, you see us first, and then Oculus Rift had to follow it up. Yeah, but That's Oculus got the longer it. ad though. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's true. They probably paid more then. I don't know. All I know was it made it a very unpleasant viewing experience. Yeah. It, yes. Although, although, <laughs> uh, boy, Never did mind. I love, and I will continue to love, the fact that they played, like, a 45-minute trailer for uh, Death Stranding. It, I think it was, like, an hour and a half, that trailer. Yeah, it was it at was, least two um, hours long, actually. It it was all three Lord of the Rings movies <laughs> long. <laughs> it was it was I don't care. There was literally a point because Jesse and I were watching the awards show together, and there was a point where Jesse goes, I don't give a shit about this, and just clicked off of it. 
and <laughs> brought up the Death Stranding trailer again. It's <laughs> fascinating. The Death Stranding trailer, I couldn't tell you. My favorite tweets that I saw were the article post that was like, Kojima staff doesn't know what the game is about. Norman Reedus doesn't know what the game is about. And Guillermo del Toro doesn't know what the game is about. And it's fascinating to me. There was one article. Some guy said he played it. And he was like, I still can't tell you what it's about. But five or six hours in, you suddenly start to get it. I was like, I can't wait to have that feeling like, I don't know what the fuck's happening. But I get I, this. I'm shocked that I haven't seen any of the articles yet that are like, we watched all three trailers, and here's what we found. I have yet to see that article because there's probably. But I'm sure somebody made that immediately. Where is that? None of it. There's that doesn't exist. Like they're, 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 they didn't find anything. The they first, didn't. No, when they the didn't first find anything. Trailer, when only two trailers were out. You don't TV, understand. It's like, genius. Here's, here's all of the things that connect. Oh, it's early. Uh, so, uh, by the way, I was misinformed. The Death Stranding trailer is actually still going. I'm tuning into it right now, as we can clearly see. It's, it's been going on <laughs> for, for at least a week There's now. There's a baby crawling out of my throat. Yeah, the baby at least is a week. now one year old. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not a baby. It's a full-grown Norman Reedus. <laughs> <laughs> no, shit. I, see, here's the thing. The trailer is nonsense. But visually, yeah. there's so much happening that you can't yeah. help be like sucked in because you're like, I don't know what this is, but I've never seen this before. And this is incredible. <laughs> and I got to give it to Kojima. He makes shit you a fire whale. I never thought I'd play a video game where there was a fire whale. I never in a million years. The man <laughs> is like, what if I was on drugs right now? What's he the thing I drugs. wouldn't want to see? He's definitely on drugs. <laughs> it's incredible. I can't hate him. I can't hate him. Look. I love Norman Reedus and I love Mads Mikkelsen and I love Guillermo del Toro and, and I, I love, love babies. I love Kojima babies in little bottles. I love babies. And if it turns out that they somehow got Jinji Ito back on and involved in their fucking little crew of people, I'm going to love this game even if I don't know what the fuck is going on ever. So <laughs> it's going to be so good. It's going to be such a good game. It's a secret wait. anime. That's all it is. <laughs> Oh, no. Why does the rain make them age? It makes no sense, y'all. It makes no sense. <laughs> yes. Oh. So, uh, overall assessment of that show from each of you in just a few words before we move on to our own, probably even worse fake award show. Okay. Fuck the Oscars. Fuck the Oscars. Fuck the Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> and that. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> So welcome to the Co-Opties. Every year we decided we had to do this because other gaming podcasts do it, which is sort of an end of the year discussion thing. But we're worse than they are. So That's true. we decided instead of having days and days of in-depth discussion about absolutely everything, coming to a sound <laughs> conclusion on each category, we just make up awards and then discuss them in a biased fashion and then arbitrarily declare winners. Mm. So we're going to do two yeah. shows of this because we really need to fill the end of the year content quota. And we have a list of fake awards that a bunch of us have come up with and will also be coming up with throughout the show because preparation yes. is for suckers and people with less views than us. Yeah, I That's never true. prepare. Indeed. <laughs> So we yeah, will totally. start. I don't have anything written down ahead of time. That's yeah. You're the only. You're carrying the show at this point. I'm looking at this oh, list. No. It's a good one. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not a good one. It's a terrible, but it is a list, which is more I than Jesse has provided. Love. Good. He will provide some eventually <laughs> after he's seen what you've done. Okay, we'll start the way we mean to go on with Dodgers category best waifu bait. One. What the fuck does that mean? I don't it know. It means best game that had characters in it that are just like you saw them and you were like that's a god dang waifu what is what's a waifu I feel like this this category right. i feel like it, it kind of rubs it up i'm gonna say sexually rubs up against one of my categories but i'm gonna let you have it i'm gonna let you have this one wait what was like... yours called we could just do them both at the same time what well was mine yours? was mine was called the uh uh i hate to see you award? leave but i love to watch you go award <laughs> I can't fit that in the text box. <laughs> I feel like I hate to see you leave, but I love to watch you go award. That's a great award. It was about butts. It's whoever had the best butt. We're seeing two completely different cultures meet for the first time. 
the where first it's time like, ah, uh, yes, that's the waifu. The and then act. he's like, I have a What's feeling a they should waifu? be split up. Those th those two categories should be split up. They have distinct differences. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? So what's They're a waifu? They're the exact same contestants. contestants? I'm on TV yeah. side. They have completely different meanings. They do. Okay. Uh, what's a waifu? <laughs> waifu is somebody who you immediately want to go and draw fan art of. A waifu is somebody where <laughs> you play the game and you're like, God, I wish that they would come out with a maid costume for this character. And then they do because they realize they made a goddamn waifu game. My nomination for this is Nier. <laughs> Nier Automata. <laughs> every day. Every day we stray further from God's light. <laughs> this, he has long since abandoned us because of this shit. Anime was a mistake. Uh, well, I mean... perhaps by explaining your nomination, you could enlighten us further as to what the fuck this category means. Because near, like, literally, the guy who made Near Automata, when he was asked, how come your characters look like this? He was like, because I like pretty girls. And then he's yeah. put out DLC where they're just in, like, really skimpy made outfits. Like, he knows exactly what kind of a game he made. Everybody immediately went online and started drawing all kinds of, like, some PG and some, like, NC-17 artwork of 2B. NC-17 like, artwork. Yeah, very NC classy. Is that how we rate porn these days? Or Yeah, NC-17. NC <laughs> it's no, famous NC-17 porn X. movies. And fanfic, right? Like, that's One X. real rating. <laughs> Two X. Trace uh, X. Ah, uh, Yes. From well, one X then, to uh, three X. Obviously, if they look younger, they're not. They're five thousand year old, uh, an ancient god spirit that's five thousand years old. Of course, well, yeah, obviously. to make it okay. Yeah, yeah okay. I look like a child, but I'm actually five million <laughs> years old and a dragon. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Totally. Oh, so fun. <laughs> so fire emblem characters. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. There now was at least one. Gotcha, gotcha. There was at least one yeah, fire yeah, emblem yeah. game. Two fire so, emblem games this year, right? Yeah, there's a ton. There should have been a cat. Shit, I'll save it for next time. Best Fire Emblem game released this year. There were year. only like two of them. You can't do that. <laughs> but you could put them in the box, I guess. Jesse yeah. would know. You've played a bunch of them. True. Which Which of them released this year is best waifu bait, whatever that means. Oh, best waifu bait? Man, yeah. um, I think... Uh, Best waifu. Obviously, it's Aloy, but that's a personal preference because Aloy is Bayloy. So Aloy. Uh, but which war which of the two Fire Emblem games is the best in that respect? Oh my God! Fire Emblem Warriors has like actual waifus you can look at that actually are like not on your 3DS, so that wins <laughs> automatically. Because that's all waifu is about. Waifu is like literally, can I oogle this character in the highest definition possible? That's what it's about. It's it has nothing to do with the mm -hmm. gameplay. It's like, can I like googly eye this character? And yeah, like and by uh, googly eye, I mean the the act of which a cartoon character goes when they see a beautiful woman. Like Mario Rabbit Peach. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Exactly yeah. like that. That's exactly right, Just Krendler. Clarify. You know, exactly I, right. I think I think Ra uh, Rabbit's Kingdom Battle should be nominated in this category because mm -hmm. there was at least somebody at Ubisoft that knew exactly what they were doing with that. Mm -hmm. yeah, at least somebody. Did. There's no doubt about it. And here's the thing. If we're going to put things in this category, you could go for... If you mean bait, as in they knew exactly what they were doing with this, I don't think Horizon Zero Dawn actually qualifies. I do. I think really. You I think, think they it, knew exactly what they were doing? Absolutely. I think that um, Aloy is is sort of the uh, uh, she's the quintessential like badass female character in the vein of like uh, like uh, uh, Laura Croft or you know something like that, where it's obvious that she is, like her sex appeal comes from the fact that she like can kick your ass kind of shit. And she's she don't like, like uh, need anyone. She's like Egret from Game of Thrones, but Absolutely. if she was Jon Snow. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. And that's what and I think they knew exactly what they were doing because it's not like she's never overtly sexual. There's never a time where you're like where any of that happens, but it's just the character they created. You're just like, oh, I'm in love with you. And I think that's it's like very subversive way of creating a waifu. Are you sure that's just not targeted towards you? 
<laughs> Look, I'm biased as fuck. I'll admit that. I'll admit that a heartbeat. <laughs> but yeah, I think, everyone. like, like it's it was obvious to everybody who spent any time on the internet and watched Game of Thrones that there was a large number of people who were like, "Yo, I bone the shit out of Egret." <laughs> like, like yep. the people making Horizon. I wouldn't be too surprised if they were like, you know what's in right now? Fucking badass cutthroat redheads. Let's. That's always in. That is a that. perpetually in <laughs> thing. That is the zone in which I operate. That's my right. life zone. It's always an in thing. Now, what about Cuphead Mermaid? Cuphead <laughs> Mermaid, total waifu, <laughs> one hundo. Also, T H I C C. Yeah, both pre, both pre and post <laughs> oh electric eel shock. <laughs> yeah no doubt girls hot <laughs> tb who's your wife i i don't i have a wife just like yeah but that's not your wife yeah, but that's not your wife who i still don't know what a waifu is it's a told TV, inconsistent games, definition this, TV, what games did you really enjoy this year i i don't really remember Honestly. Games what where you it? play a ship and there are no people in them. Yes. <laughs> Games where you control an army all... of people that are all expendable. They're all Here's turn the based. Here's the thing we've learned over the years, thanks to Rule 34. A ship can, in fact, be a waifu. <laughs> TV's waifu be could be a battle cruiser. We don't know. It we could. Don't no, know that's this. true. That's Look, true. I, I'm, all I'm saying is Jupiter class battle stars. There you go. Pretty okay. thick. Right, T H I C C thick. Somebody out okay. there in chat. Those we need are you to draw some launch tubes right there. Some really large hey, launch tubes. Jupiter you know class battle cruiser with just a big old ass. <laughs> just just, a big old ass. It's got it's a slow, it's a big, thick, yeah, huge thick. screen of flak. Yep. Mm -hmm. Lots of that. Mm -hmm. We you need we need an animated version of that <laughs> ship on a stripper pole with like she's a brick house and just like shaking her butt, but <laughs> anatomically still be a battle cruiser. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Get on that internet. There's probably some <laughs> anime about something like that. I would suggest mm -hmm. that probably exists. Mm. But as to like. If we're talking about like games best waifu bait, weren't there a ton of games that came out from that? Oh god, what the hell's the name of it? Senren Cougar, whatever yeah. it is. Like of pretty much every genre they could find. There's like, what if we made Splatoon with boobs? Well, what if we made Cooking Mama with boobs? I don't think about any. The... Oh, sorry. I was just saying the thing about Senren Kagura, and I think it. I don't know how to best describe this, but I feel like it's overload because when it comes to like the wife because it's like oh well there's a girl for everyone in this game but it's almost like too much right and i feel but like that be the very definition of of waifu bait as a game surely i guess you would think but i feel like it has to you know i'm trying to think of what it's called but you know like uh there's the theory that if you give someone too much choice they can no longer decide they like shut down because they're like analysis overwhelmed paralysis by the yeah and I feel like... Do you feel like you get analysis paralysis playing Senrod Cougar at games? Yes, I have there's to ask. So much, there's so much boob <laughs> and ass that you're just like... I, uh, 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 right? And that doesn't help you find your wife because your waifu, man, it's about more than just boobs and ass. They, like, connect to you on, like, a nerd level. You feel, you feel like this is... If she was a real woman, she and I, we'd get along together. I've seen a lot of people really enjoy the Zelda Breath of the Wild waifus. Oh my god, yeah, that's a that perfect example. They aren't they aren't necessarily there for like waifu purposes, but they are. Like that's a great example. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah but what about like sexy a... Shelob though? That yeah. is a perfect example of there like created unnecessarily a like that was a spider and made her a hot girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a Absolutely. that's a good example of waifu bait. bait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was no other purpose. None. Like, no yep. justifiable reason why they did that, other than that. Yep. And now, there are many other people out there, like me, who would say, and I quote, fuck a spider. I mean, people have been saying that since the original Dark mm -hmm. Souls, though. True. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> so. But in that, the spider fucks you. 
No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't no. don't believe him. Please play Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Oh my. <laughs> okay. There's a category for you. That was very serious. Great. Uh -huh. I have a serious, like a real serious category. I figure right. it's the best place to start. Okay. We got to bring it back. Bring it back. The Better Late Than Never Award. Isn't this that a one to... that you stole directly from my award show? What? I have one of those in the Arbitrary Awards show, and it literally is named that. Did it, did it come out already? A year ago, yes. <laughs> Oh well, you must have subconsciously. I, uh, yeah, it, I'm a huge fan of that award show. I watch it yeah, all the time. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Yes, you know that's fine. You can have it. I don't want it anymore. I don't want it. If you came up with it independently, it. it's besmirched now. It, I can't mm -hmm. use it. So you you can have it, and I'll come up with something better. So you do that, and it'll be fine. It will now. be fine. I I've thought never I was heard being it. very creative. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is a good, this is a good idea. It'll be fine. <laughs> now, what's it actually mean? I haven't heard of this category. Uh, well, yeah, Seriously, I actually called it something times, else. It's fine. But... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, For me, it's games that were uh, announced a long, long time ago and finally came out. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, of course, this year, Last Guardian uh, originally debuted in... 2093. Fuck me. Breath yeah. of the Wild, they Cuphead. announced in 2013. Owlboy, they had a demo for it in 2011. Did Owlboy come out this year? Yeah, it did. Yeah. What? You missed no. Owlboy? No, she played it. I played it, but I thought it was last year. That's crazy. Um, I actually can't quite. It was supposed to be, if it was last year, it was end of last year. No, it was Cuphead. definitely this year. This 100. Year. I remember it. Cuphead. Um, Cuphead, Cuphead is it, an absolute shoe in for this one. Yeah. Ah, here's the thing, though. Um, we also have The Witness, a game first announced in 2008. The Witness didn't come out this year. I witnessed Cuphead. Didn't it? No, it did not. It was last year? Good. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Thank God. Ooh. Okay. But I think the winner has to be Neo, first announced in 2004. It was? 2004. Yeah. Holy fuck. Really? First but announced in 2004. But I would argue that nobody knew about Neo until it was already released. I guess, look, uh, Neo is also on I my list of that. like games no one played this year. So, Neo, oh, I know a lot Neo of sold play really that. well. It came well, out at a really good cause... time, too, because it came out in February. <laughs> it was basically like nothing else. Were yeah. you going to insult me? Because you know a lot of people it? that would play <laughs> that game. Yeah, I was going to say. You know why? <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not worth it. The people we know are are all the same people, mm. and their tastes are very similar. Uh -huh. Leave it at that. Very similar. Good people, one and all. Yeah, I think Neo did pretty well, honestly, from what I remember. The fact that it started Dev in 2004 is something I didn't know, uh, but I do kind of agree with Dodger. I'm pretty sure no one fucking else knew that either. I don't, I don't think there was any hype going into this game, until pretty close to its release. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I know I know that it's probably like speculative in terms of how we uh, understand the category. But to me, a better late than never means that I said to myself when it came out, well, better late than never, because I knew that it existed before it came out, right. you know, but I didn't know about this game until it was already out and people were playing it and being like, wow, this is a really cool game. Well, I definitely think no matter what, the award should go to uh, Last Guardian, just because that's a game that like. But it was wasn't people... very good though. I don't think it matters uh, according to this category. Uh, I think it's just a game that everyone wanted and was promised for so long, and finally came out. And so I feel like there was like, also yeah, a it... slight problem with you including that um, that it came out last year. Are all these games from last year? No, isn't. no, but Cuphead Last Guardian is. Last Guardian came out December 2016. You know what? I'm going to allow it. I'm going to allow yeah. it because we're currently in December 2017. So you know what? You can have December 2016. Thank I'm going to let right. you have Well, that. then, I mean, Cuphead's good, but Cuphead, in the grand scheme of things, hasn't been like, that's like a three-year-old, like, we've been waiting three years for this game. 
Like some of these games have been. Yeah, but remember how longer. many times uh, you know on this very podcast after watching stuff like an E3 or PlayStation, well, not PlayStation Experience because not on that, but some other show that happened to show trailers. Like, oh, it's Cuphead again. When's that finally coming out? Like we said that quite a lot, especially when you saw it at a show. You come back and be all up in Cuphead. So that's true. I think that there is a strong argument for Cuphead to be in the running for that one. Yep. I vote Cuphead. All right. I I really liked both Last Guardian and Cuphead, despite the issues with like playing Last Guardian. Um, I enjoyed it and I played the entire thing. So that was one that I was definitely waiting for and hoping would come out for much longer than Cuphead, but I think Cuphead was a much more solid game. So it with the idea of better late than never because they delayed it and then it came out and it was amazing, I would say Cuphead. Um and if if the concept is better late than never because I would rather that this game just exists <laughs> at all, um then maybe I would say Last Guardian. When was the hat in time announced? Quite some time um, ago, because well, that was ago. crowdfunded, right? That game was great too. I remember playing the demo yeah. a year or two ago, something like that. Mm. Yeah, so that could be another one. That very well could be. Yeah. Uh yeah. There was. Let's see. yeah. That the Kickstarter earned quite a lot. They got. I think I can't remember. Yeah, it was August 2012 was when they started devving. So that was actually five years ago. Yeah, I was gonna mm. say. I think it was three years ago that I audition to be in that game so like it's been it's been like in development for a while not to mention they actually planned their initial release for quarter two 2013 mm. so yeah that's definitely a better late than never there is one yeah. i think uh that's been overlooked here i like to throw in uh yeah. prey so prey we've been waiting for a sequel to prey for god knows how long and then we got a trailer for something that looked very, very different to what we expected from it. Right. Bear in mind, the first Prey was a game about shooting aliens after you got abducted from a bar in which Blue o Oyster Cult was playing. Right. And when you died, you became a spirit Native American who would shoot ghostly things to come back to life. Prey is not a sequel to that, but it's the same name for God knows what fucking reason. <laughs> But well, on, having played the first Prey and played this one, I will say that I am glad that eventually we got this one, which I think is significantly better than the first one, even if it's nothing like the first one. I'd have rather got that than what they were originally intending. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed Prey, but I am not somebody who was ever, like, waiting around for a Prey game. So to me, that game existed and came out in a pretty short span of time like in my awareness bubble you know, I don't know. sure i was aware of it for a while and the weird sort of changes with it and how it ended up being completely not what it was supposed mm -hmm. to be initially but i think that was for the better so i'll give it that how long was uh resident evil 7 in development um this is my time comparatively not that long Okay. Just curious. Yeah. Hmm. Trying to think of uh, anything else that really dragged on this year. Mm, not really. I'm I certainly not going to say overgrowth because that ended up being. That's been in development for God knows how long, but still really isn't a finished game, despite the fact that they've kind of released it. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Krendor, do you want to throw hmm. a category into the ring? I can throw a category into the ring. Uh, I'm going to go with best game tune that got stuck in your head. All of the Persona 5 soundtrack. Yeah. Winner. All of it. <laughs> now, I really like the Divinity Original Sin menu music where it's like Yo, that song does, just, that is a hella earworm I yeah. will agree with you on that Yeah, I noticed I'd just be in random places and I'd start being like and I'd be like what is that oh yeah it's Divinity Original Sin 
Yeah, the like dun 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, so, there's uh, some good ones. Beneath the mask, that's that's the one that constantly like not I, even the actual song part, just like the lead up would just play over and over in my head. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, I listen to there's a 10 hour loop of that with rain in the background that I sometimes listen to just because it's quite relaxing. What that sounds awesome, actually. So uh, some more. I it, it's it is it's relaxing. It doesn't need some weird <laughs> pseudoscience word for it. It's just relaxing. Yes. No, it's not that. But <laughs> it, yeah, th that's definitely, definitely one of them. Uh, fucking King Dice. I was literally ah, just about to link that. Right, 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 right. Right. Uh, yeah, you, you got, yeah. you have to include that mm. at some that's point. Good. Recent, that f the fucking in between level music for Hearthstone Kobolds and whatever the fuck it is. Oh yeah, um, that's starting to get into my head. Yeah, Quite it's actually pretty loss. good. It almost the Kobolds soundtrack almost reminds me of the Grant Kirkhope like ukulele banjo kazooie. It's like doom, 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 doo, 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 doo. it's like that type of thing. Yeah, there's a lot of Hearthstone themes that would probably fit in that, but this one in particular mm -hmm. is really sticking in my head to the point where I feel like I'm just replaying it back in my head at random times during the day. Mm-hmm. And that yeah, and that really. also dug in really, really quickly. I was surprised by that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd also say the uh, the music from the first boss fight in uh, Rabbit's Kingdom battle stuck in my head for a good fucking long time. God, the the yeah. big Donkey Kong fight. That was Grant Kirkhope too. Yes, it was, uh, and he is he is great. Like, if there was great. a best soundtrack award at any point during this year on a show that is significantly more organized than this one, wink, wink, <laughs> nudge, nudge, then he would probably be in the running for that. Yeah, he's got even just games from all time. Like, I remember Banjo-Tooie. I played that, like, earlier this year, and that world theme music was in my head just constantly. It was so good. Yeah. Um, the... It, this doesn't suit the category, but another game that had like music where when I was playing it, I was like, this is some banging music was uh, Ruiner. Ruiner. It does. Uh, I wouldn't. Music. It never stuck in my head, though. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. Just to like throw it out there since we're talking about music. Ruiner has really good. Music. Yeah, didn't really have an earworm in there. Maybe maybe there is one track that is, but if there is, I ain't got to it yet. I'll Dude, say that. Mario Kart released for the Switch again. Instead of the Wii U. That's got some great tunes. That one clock world, it's like do it do it do it. That one will just pop up randomly. Great music. <laughs> and then there's the one with the shy guys where they're like whap, whap, whap. And they do the little whap. Mario Kart's got whap. great stuff. There's probably some games that have got into my head just because I had them alt tabbed for a long time and the music was just playing in the right, background. You just heard the music constantly. Mm. I know but, that when I was playing Pyre, the Pyre music yes. would like yeah. really loop a lot. I'm trying to find the song and I just can't, but there's a song in A Night in the Woods that's really catchy and I just can't remember the damn name of it right now. Mm. Are you just like going through the whole soundtrack right now? <laughs> I literally am I'm trying to like trying to find this. it. Yeah. yeah. But that's that had a great soundtrack too. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Nier Automata had a cool soundtrack. I just don't know that any of the songs stood out for me, but it, the whole experience was great. Yeah, um, they're, they're not earworms. And I think, to be honest, yeah. that's kind of on purpose. They're not repeating music a great deal in that game, so it, they don't really have the opportunity. It's like you know, certain boss fight music, you're like, oh, that's incredible. But if, you, if the boss fight doesn't take long enough for that song to sort of worm its way into your head, then you don't get that effect. One of the mm -hmm. reasons why it worked in Rabbids is one, very well written, and two, turn-based game where the boss fights actually take quite some time. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, that's another point, actually. We talk about another turn-based game where they definitely had some music that I was humming to myself, fucking pit people. I mean, everything that Behemoth mm -hmm. does, but this yeah. one happened to be a turn-based game where we had to wait for Jesse Cox to do his thing. So we got a lot of looped music in that game. And as a result, you end up remembering quite a bit of it. Oh yeah, Domina had pretty good music. If I'd played Domina for long enough, 
yeah, yeah. It, it had. To, yeah, it did. Uh, if if I'd played that long enough for it to get into my head, probably. Um, mm-hmm. But that game not coming out with the save feature was a quick reason to stop playing it. <laughs> I still don't think yeah. the save feature probably choice. works. Still such a oh, yeah, choice. that was weird. That was sort of a strange thing. It's a perfect example of somebody just disconnected from what the players do versus what they do. Oh, man. Power I... to the players. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Power to the hashtag gamers out I'm there. I'm trying yeah. to find the exact name of this song. Uh, He's still doing it. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I moved on. Uh, <laughs> Tokyo. The award for best gamer is you, the gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. The, I have a trophy that proves one. I am the best gamer. At least in, in one in one year, anyway. <laughs> the number one most earworm song, giving it to Persona Five, Tokyo Daylight. Look that shit up. That's like, oh, it's that one that song, right? Gets put in your brain and will never leave for days. So all the music in that game is so good. Dude. Yeah. Well, that happens with all the Persona games as well because you're also there for a long fucking time. Yeah. So it very much gets burrowed into your brain. Just dropping that in chat. That song yeah. is so earwormy. Da, da. <laughs> and it plays so much, you're just like, yeah. Let's go around Tokyo. <laughs> yep, that and beneath the mask. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, that's not that's not beatable. I don't think that's that's a winner for me. <laughs> no a doubt. Good earworm. Yeah. Overall, I love music, and I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. I'm trying um, to. What, what, uh, what's the, what did you say the name of that Persona Five track was? Uh, it's called Tokyo Daylight. All right, I'll have to try and find all my soundtrack list for the break. So good. TB, do you have a category you want to throw out? Ooh. Uh, a, I did, but I don't want to throw it out right now because it's probably going to be quite a lengthy discussion. Okay, I can Maybe throw I'd rather out do it after like, the kind break. Of bullshitty one. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a quick short one, then we'll take a break, then we'll come back, and I'll throw a category out after that. Okay. Uh... One of mine is best creature protagonist. Best, cr- oh right, okay, yeah. Okay. So the protagonist that is non-human. Yeah. So okay. my my number one this year would be Hollow Knight. Um, second in line would be Night in the Woods, but Hollow Knight was just such a like slam dunk for me as a game. It's fair. <clears throat> uh. Everybody's a bug in that game for anybody who hasn't played it. <laughs> oh. Trying to think of a game I actually played that had a creature protagonist. Oh, I'd pick uh, ukulele. There we go. I did it. <laughs> Isn't that two creatures? Well, Does that count? okay, Yuka of the Lely. You pref- ukulele. Yuka right, you- of the Lely. Okay. Yuka of the Lely. That would be the Yuka of the Lely with a light hint of raspberry jam. Hmm. Of course, of course. <laughs> What God, did I... what did I play that had non non humanoid protagonist? I mean, I feel like Cuphead counts. Because he's <laughs> yes, a cuphead. yeah, it's That's a humanoid. If we're saying non human. Yeah, we're talking. Well, we're actually very specific. We're saying creature. A sure. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's humanoid <laughs> creature. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, this guy serves the Hollow Knight. But no, if we're saying best creature protagonist, then no, uh, I think you probably have to exclude that, right? That's true. You could go rabid peach. Hmm, it's humanoid. That's true. Uh, too humanoid. <laughs> I mean, humanoid is fine. You're call it like rabbit? if it's a mon- if it's a monster, it's a just like not not like a human, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have to give it to. Uh, oh my god, what is his actual joke name? Hold on, give me a sec. It's. Hmm. It, I think it's like Oda Nobuniaga, <laughs> the character oh, that, from the cat. The cat yeah, from, from Warriors Jabinari. All Stars. Yeah. He's like, it's. Nobunaga, but as a cat, and it's hilarious. That's the best one. All the warriors are cats. It's incredible. Yeah. Game developed by Jabba the Hutt. Obanagurida. Nobody Jabba no Oh, people are throwing out uh, Tooth and Tail. That was a good game. Tooth and Tail's good. Yeah. None of the protagonists uh, are even remotely memorable in that game. So no, I wouldn't agree with that one. <laughs> and this comes from someone that really liked Tooth and Tail. It's like name one of the protagonists. I fucking can't, <laughs> despite having played a bunch of it. Uh, what I would say is, if you're gonna take a cool creature protagonist, then Sir Gilman from Pyre is a pretty good choice. Yeah, he that was is a good fucking choice. hilarious. 
and one of the best and like most likable characters in that game. His solo challenges are so hard. Yeah, fuck his solo challenges. That's terrible. <laughs> but he's pretty great. Mm. Um, fuck, fuck Slugcat from Rain World, just because I hate that game. <laughs> Slugcat is adorable, but wow. fuck Rain World. That's wow. a game. Rain mm. World is a unpleasant Pumpers. game to play. Let's just put it that way. On purpose, but regardless, that's fair. Mm. But still. I'm like, does Warhammer Total War 2 count, and can I just say Queek? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, Good. I think so. It, it's a rat. That counts. He's a great creature protagonist. He's murdered thousands of elves. It's wonderful. Uh, I can't think of any others. Just you played a lot of Cat Quest. That's a creature. Yeah, Cat Quest, but the main character doesn't talk. That's true. Because that would just be a cat then. Yeah. You don't get to nominate just a cat. Well, you're going to try a bit harder than that. Is the cat able to like use weapons? Yes. It's not just a cat, then, is it? Well, in video game terms, it's just a cat. No, we're going to get into philosophy. No, we're not. <laughs> we're just going to arbitrarily say, no, you're not allowed. Please define No one gets cat. to add. <laughs> what is a cat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and man. at what point does using weapons or some sort of ability change him from being a normal cat into some sort of humanoid cat? Well, I mean, strangely enough, that's kind of the point of that game, so. Mm. Deep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, deep. incredibly. Very deep. Fuck the Oscars. There were, ah, oh, yes, I don't remember too many <laughs> noteworthy games this year where they had great creature protagonists. And I think Sonic Force is not being brought up as being not brought up for a very good reason. Ah, uh, yes. What about the other my, Sonic game? My OC, Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania, apparently everyone Sonic loved. Sonic Mobile. Sonic yeah. Mania was great. Yeah, but then you, if you turn around and say Sonic, it's a, pff, for in 2017, your answer is Sonic. Like, oh dear. <laughs> That's why, yeah, a bunch of people in chat are like, I can't believe they're not mentioning Okami. Okami what, a game that came out 10 it's years an ago. HD remake of Okami. Y like, Okami came out forever fuck ago. You, <laughs> fuck you, we're not including that. That's the th that's the second or third remake of Okami. No. You don't just get to re-release Okami every year. We have a fucking category for best Skyrim re-release. Yeah. Which, I we already that have that one. Yeah, who made that? Best version of Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Now, personally... None of them. No, we're, we're taking a break. <laughs> I when we come back, we'll PC, deal with that. We're, you are um, watching the Co-optional Podcast. Non Be right back after remake. I mute this fuck. Look, he can't talk now. It's perfect. There we go. Ad break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Co-Opties Fake Award Show of Fake. Guess with less I ads. I I am going to <laughs> imagine that it was something really unproductive. Yes. Cool. I Did brewed oh. Dodger Coffee. <gasps> nah, she she did not pay for a spot this time. She's no 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 promotion. No, nope. I will say I received this coffee for free from Dodger Coffee Corporation. Bribes. Mm hmm Clear, clear um, bribery going on. I mean, I did <laughs> review it on my channel for non-content. Didn't disclose um, it. I did disclose it. Disclosing I've, right now. I've did not disclose anything. If you want to see the full-on review, uh, I'll link it there. But it's honestly, sell out overall, to big coffee. it says it's a dark roast. Personally, I think it's more of a medium. False advertising, you say? I think it's more of a medium roast, to be honest. I don't think it does say it's a dark roast. It says it's a dark, smooth roast. Or a dark smooth taste, and personally, well, now we've unveiled having, the fake because it's not a dark roast. Um, the <laughs> fake coffee okay. <laughs> now has been unveiled. Listen, I read the package. All right, there's a it said a thing, and I was like, eh, it's a dark know. in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, but either way, I enjoyed it. I'm drinking it again. Cat didn't okay. like it. He smelled it and ran away. So it's not cat approved if you're gonna buy it for your cat. There are cats in it though. Mm hmm. No, I said there's subtle hints. Some of cat some stray cats. Yeah. 
Like you can really taste the anime when you just. Times are tough. You got to keep yep. the cost of the blend down. There's mm. waifu in there. There's some waifu in there. Mm -hmm. Premium waifu bait coffee. Mm -hmm. Found only at dodgercoffeeco.com. Probably true. Yeah. All right. <laughs> More fake awards. Uh, you asked before the break if I had one. I do. I'd like to know. Game that's still in early access that you enjoy the most this year. And that isn't PUBG. Can I vote for Player Unknown's no, Battlegrounds? No, you cannot. What about Player Unknown Battleground Test Server? No. Okay, I'm out of ideas. No iteration of that in any um, way. Um, Shit. Pit People is in early access, isn't it? Yep, still in early access. Absolutely. I I thought that was a super fun game. That's definitely on the list for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of the fact that Jesse's not immediately saying pit people as well makes me think he's not the friend that I thought he was <laughs> and no. didn't enjoy our time together. Makes me think he's no. I'm just trying to think of Faking. what else. Can... I literally, boy, do I not know a lot of early access games or games that I think are out and then turn out to be early access. Like I mm -hmm. fuck if I know anymore. Yeah, I've played a lot of games where I'm like, oh, yeah. And then they're like, that's early access. And I'm like, wait, it is? And I'm just like, okay. Some of them you can't really notice. Because yeah, stuff that comes out that isn't early access is just as buggy, if not buggier, and more incomplete. Uh, like, Dead I played... Um, it's also great. Dead Cells, mm -hmm. a pretty fucking clear candidate on that one. And that's a real early access game, because that's changing all sorts of shit as that it moves Torio forward. is early access? Yep. Still I is, like, I believe. In early access, I was like, somebody was like, well, early access has so many bugs. And then I played Skyrim and <laughs> I walked into the cage and yeah. I blocked a guy and he disappeared, walked backwards back into the cage and then was like, where do we go, adventure? And I was like, this game's been out for like eight years and here's a bug in <laughs> the, the like starting there. zone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no question. I The late entry to that, which I'm liking a lot, um, is Slay the Spire. That's pretty fucking cool. That's a, it's basically a roguelite mixed with a deck builder. And by deck builder, I'm talking like Dominion-like deck builder, not collectible card game or anything like that. That's hmm. pretty fucking fantastic. And I spent way longer on that than I thought I would. As I, I, well, I think we saw it in a release segment at one point, maybe a couple of months ago. I'm like, uh, the screenshots don't look that promising. And to be fair, art style wise, it's not that great. But the right. actual game hmm. itself is very, very compelling because deck builders are very compelling. And this happens to be a one where you deck build to murder monsters and try to survive the spire to get to fight the boss who inevitably fucking murders you. And then you earn some new stuff and you start again, which is a compelling loop. I like it a lot, actually. I want to play more of it. Um, hmm. I haven't played it in a while, but Astroneer is also a very fun game that's in early access. Oh, yeah. That's the one that got a ton of hype right out of the gate, and I haven't heard a lot about since. Is anyone sort of has anyone revisited it lately? Have they had a big advancement on that front, or are they just is all quiet? I, think I played it like six months ago, or maybe more. Yeah, I don't think they've done much, but I'm not sure. I'm checking the Steam list to see what they did updates wise. The last yeah, time they updated. Well, yeah, because it was actually, oddly enough, it just counts because it was released on December 16th, 2016. So it has actually mm -hmm. been out for just over a year. Huh. The latest patch they did was in November, but the patch doesn't appear to be a particularly big one. I think they're, they're just sort of trundling along by the looks of it on that one. Mm. Uh, Book of Demons is another game. Yeah, that is still in yeah. early access, which is. blows my mind. That's been in early access for several years now, I think. Yeah, it says release date July twenty eighth, twenty sixteen, mm. but it's still well, early access. Then. Yeah, I mean, that's six like a super cool oh, game. fuck me. Yeah, so it's a what, a year and a half. Yeah, mm. is Ark still in early access? I I think they released it, didn't they? I think they did. Yeah. release it. Okay. Yeah, because wasn't that their excuse for bumping the price up? Yep. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I know they, they just added stuff to it, like, today, or... Yeah, there's a new yeah. expansion, I think, today, or, or yeah. at least around this time. Yeah, Aberration is its name. Uh, that's its oh. new thing. People seem to quite like it. Mm -hmm. I haven't I haven't touched it in ages, so 
I know you played a good amount of it, Dodger, but I don't think you really went back to it. I didn't go back to it, like, since they've made it so that you can advance to the point of having, like, space suits and shit. Oh. <laughs> like, you can you Slightly can straight odd. up go from prehistoric, I have nothing, to advancing to the point that you can, like, fly away <laughs> and that, just get the fuck That doesn't out. sound quite right. Um, well, I think that's, like, supposed to be the end game, right? Is, like, you're trapped on this thing. You have these weird mechanical implants that you don't remember and you're trying to leave you're trying to figure out how to escape and i think i think that's the step that they added for that is supposed to be the end goal of like how you leave how you get out um also uh there's uh conan there's not a whole uh, lot yeah. in conan but yeah did that go like, anywhere at all Th that was they, a huge streaming spike on some that stuff but you know, there's dick sliders, so people were all about that for a couple mm. days. And <laughs> yep, yeah. Uh, oh, there's the Wild Eight, and we play that. We yeah, did, was... we I did, and I went cool. fucking crazy. Yeah, you didn't that. like it. I mean, I like the concept of it. I hated that, like when you died, that you couldn't, mm. you couldn't bind yourself to camp. So when you died, you had to on your own try to get back to the group, mm -hmm. and like there was all kinds of stuff that didn't make any fucking sense in that game. <laughs> but maybe, maybe they've changed it. Maybe they've made it a bit more. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, team focused instead of oh, you messed up once. Well, you're fucked, and you're <laughs> never gonna get back to them. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think what else I played that was in early access that I really, really liked and wished was actually finished. Because mm. I do tend to avoid most of those. Especially this year, it's been so damn busy with games, like, well, why play an early access game of all things? Although, to be fair, Battle Right only came out very recently, and I played mm. a shit ton of that in early access. That is true. So that's that's probably the one for me, I think. It's between that and Pit People. You know, we had we did have a good amount of fun with that, but Pit People's definitely a case of you don't really want to play any more of it in early access because then you end up with an unfinished story and that's very frustrating. Oh, the was there... forest was one. The forest was pretty good. Did you play was much it? of that this year? Yeah. Also, well, yeah, because that that's still in early access. That was released three. That was released in two thousand fourteen. Two thousand fourteen. Yeah. Mom, how, yeah. How much of the early, how much Mom, of that did you play try. this year? Oh, they just like randomly jump in and play it or whatever. Huh. Fair enough. When was golf with your friends? Oh, that was a year ago. Yes. Or that was twenty sixteen. Damn. That's a quality game. We need more golf games. Do, do we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> do we really though? Games. We do. I love golf games. Okay. That does, I can't say I'm massively surprised by that. Oh, what was that one game that came out for the Switch that was like a golf game? Golf story? Yeah, golf that story. Wasn't really much about the golf though. Less more think? about the story, less about the golf, really. Mm. <laughs> I like how chat's just randomly listing off games when this is a category of stuff that we played. And half those games <laughs> yeah, we didn't play at all. Sometimes, sometimes they'll list something off, and we'll be like, "Oh yeah, I did play that." Oh, here we go. Golf it came like, out. Let's just copy paste access. everything on Steam to the chat, and it's like, "Oh yeah, there's a game. That golf sure it. is a game." Golf it came out this year. Early access, great game for golfing. I like it a lot. Golf it. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? <laughs> this is going nowhere. This is just a list of games. Like, yes, I like this one. <laughs> Dodger, you have more categories. What you, which one do you want to bring out? Uh, let's do best game that I still don't understand. So a game that you enjoyed, maybe even played all the way through, and at the end you were still like, I mean, I don't get it, but I guess does, I liked it. Does Warframe count? I think it does. Whatever, whatever, however that category reads for you. I think that, cat for me, that category absolutely reads, this game has a bunch of fucking systems that are not explained in any way, I don't actually understand, and I'm probably walking in circles, circles achieving nothing, but I'm still quite enjoying it. So mm. I think Warframe is absolutely the one I put there. 
But if you're talking about, like, story that you don't understand, that's a different matter entirely. But mechanically, I have no fucking clue when it comes to Warframe. Um, what I put down was uh, Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. Still have no idea what the fuck was going on in that game. And I, I think that in the end, we determined that there wasn't a specific thing going on in that game, that depending on how you played it, different things were going on in that game, which is just even more confusing. So... There's that. That was an FMV game that Jesse and I played together. You do play quite a lot of games like that. Surely you have <laughs> more, you've got more examples of that, sure. <laughs> mm. Do we? Or did, did you magically understand everything you've played this year? Well, like there, well, are, yeah. games that, there yeah. are games that are super trippy, but in the end you uh, got them. Like Doki Doki Literature, Literature Club. By the end we were like, we get this. We okay. like we get it. This All was right. a fucking crazy journey we just went on, but like we understand what this game is and what it's trying to say. Yeah, uh, I feel like most of the games where it's weird by the end of it, I get it though. Like it's not too weird or else I wouldn't play them. I vote Human Fall Flat. Powerful game. Moved me on another level. Um uh, but great. you don't know why. I didn't know what was going on. On that game, what was confusing about that game? Well, uh, you're not human. You're right. some sort of weird okay. abomination of a humanoid. Okay. And you keep falling flat, but there's no real reason as to why you're falling flat. Sure. And it really just, really just blows your mind when you yeah, yeah, think yeah, about yeah. it. Some people can't think about it, like Jesse. He's just, you know, he thinks this is some sort of joke. It's not a joke. Hmm. Sometimes you just fall flat when you're not human. But then is yeah. the is the point of the game that as a human you won't fall flat? Because I don't know if that I don't know, man. I didn't understand it. I see. Yes. So it's perfect for this category. <laughs> yep. That's why I picked it. I see. I understand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what is Cuphead? <laughs> really? what is, what is what when is we really Cuphead? think about it, what what is truly Cuphead? What is Cloud Why does gaming? Mugman drink from his own head? <laughs> that, I have a lot of things I don't understand. How is nothing spilled? When, when the Cupheads do their Cupheading, how is nothing spilled at any point? Yeah, is that their brain? Is how does the straw brain? stay? Or is their brain in the cup? In which case, what's in their head? I have a lot of That might be the most confusing game of the year. I'll be real with you. How does that all work up there? And do they uh, really have a soul to sell? Let's be honest. I have yeah, they're cup people. I haven't gotten all of the endings on it yet, so this might change, but Reigns Her Majesty, I technically beat, I got an ending for, and I'm still looking back at that and going, well, what the fuck is actually going on in that game? <laughs> that was what That's pretty that? similar to the first Reigns, let's be honest. Yeah, no, that's true. But like even the first Reigns felt a little more... Like, even though it was confusing, it felt a little more like, I don't know. I feel like Reigns, Reigns Her Majesty is is much more trippy. It's weirder than, on purpose. Than Reigns. That's possible. Like, it feels yeah. much more meta than the original Reigns did. Yeah, there's mean. there's definitely a bit of that in there, no doubt. Can I nominate a TV show? Oh, boy. No. I nominate no, no, you, no. Are You Specifically... You the one? Cannot do that. MTV television. No, you 100% <laughs> can't. Save it. No, save it. Because it's not save a game. This is for our no. podcast, not this podcast. So no, you our cannot podcast. save it. Nobody you can't do anything. that. I had to bring something up. No, no, you don't. No, <laughs> you don't actually have to just fill all the time. No, I disagree with you on that. Um, there <laughs> was right, that clicker game discussion. that I played called Space Plan. And I don't know what the fuck I did for several hours. I do know it involved potatoes. In fact, the whole the whole game was pretty much about potatoes and solar power. Sounds pretty understandable. And the end of it, I'm fairly sure I like killed an entire race of people, I sure. think. But I I don't know a hundred percent. And then it ended, and it's like, well, I paid a dollar for this. Uh, somehow I liked it. I don't really know why or what even happened. Sounds like it was worth a dollar. Yeah, it kind of was, actually. It was all right. <laughs> yeah. It sure was. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all. I must admit, 
do I don't think I'm a hundred percent on the sexy brutal. I think I understand a good ninety five percent of it, and there's maybe some bits and pieces that I don't quite get. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking back to that game, and I'm like, did I ever like really? put all the pieces together in that game. I don't know that I did. Well, there is a third ending, which right. means that you might not have. And it's also one I can't be bothered to get. So I'm going to... I don't remember. Honestly, it was so... I played that game so long ago, like right when it came out. So yeah. I'm, I can't remember if at the time I was committed enough to like see what the third ending was or not because i remember that i remember being told by chat like this isn't it there's more <laughs> but mm. there's something <sighs> there's something about that one most of it mm -hmm. makes sense but because of that third ending and the weirdness there might be a bit of a question mark over it did any of you actually play getting over it Ignore the yeah, main no. nature of it no. and how stupid it is. I played is. it for six Crenner hours. Fucking did. miserable. I no. I played it for six like, hours. Like, what the fuck is that game about, Crendor? What is that so, game about? That's a good point. I think I'd have to pick that one. It is a man <laughs> in a pot with a hammer trying to get over yeah. stuff while Pickups. random quotes are read to you, and the yeah. guy tells you the story of the creation of the game. And he's like, years ago, when I was at a convention, I played a game called Bob's climber <laughs> simulator and i realized that sometimes it's like what is this game what is happening in this game it i like to think that nonsense the game is about you putting in the effort to get past things that are seemingly impossible and then right, but but is it supposed to be like a metaphor for like it life? has to be in which case shouldn't you be Let's, getting over the game and moving on to your it life it could be a metaphor for that as well yeah, maybe, you know, maybe, point. maybe in the end, yeah. the entire game, it's like it, it's like the end of Undertale. Like the whole point of it is that it's trying to get you to fucking quit and yeah. just stop thinking about the game. All I know is you get to that orange table on the side of the mountain and then you fall off it back to the start and you want to die. <laughs> I didn't want to die. I was just <laughs> like, oh, I mean, I'm over it. <laughs> I was like, I think that's the point of this game. I had a Did lot of you questions. Get Where'd the you point get of it to? not to play it. What part, what much part did you get to? I got to, uh, I don't know, like when you climb up high enough and there's like two rock croppings and you can like go up between them. Wait, and... did you get to Devil's Cane or the Devil's Chimney? Fuck if I know. I don't, I don't know the name you of You would know places. the Devil's Chimney. How would I know the Devil's Chimney? Because it's is like the devil, a, is, is the devil there? Right. Like, did you get to my chimney? <laughs> if that's the, the case, then yes, I would know. <laughs> There's like a little chimney thing, and it's got like a rock here and a rock here, and you gotta like wedge up and then like boost yourself and then wedge and then like boost. I again. think I think I did because I look. I don't know. There were two rocks, and they were like <laughs> this. And you have to go between the rocks. I got to there, and then I fell back down and was like, I did what I needed to do. And I, well, I said I wanted to get there, and I did. And then I fell back down again. And I was like, all right, now, well I. Did what Hold I on. When you say two rocks, is that like you climbed up the thing and then did you get okay? Well, there's like there's two sets of two rocks. One's oh the devil's God. chimney, and one's just two rocks you have to move. Why up. is it called the devil's chimney? Because it's an ass shit thing to get through. Who called it that? The internet. You would know if you got to it. Justin. I guess I would. I guess I would. I assume it's like an orgasm. You know if you had one. Um, I have another one <laughs> that I just thought of. <laughs> um, another one that I thought of is uh, yep. Little Nightmares because the creators <laughs> uh, have been pulling like a weird Kojima on it where at first they were like, Little Nightmares isn't about anything. We wanted to make a game with like interesting monstrous characters that would like make you uncomfortable. And I was like, cool, like that's great. And then they were like, no, but here's all of the characters' names, and here's how they connect with each other, and this is who this is, and this is what's going on here. And I was like, are you coming up with this after the fact, or did you lie before? And now No, I don't they, um, everything in that game has been set up. I just don't think they, like, the the girl and, and who number nine's role, like, all that's been in the game, but you're right, it's nonsense. Like, it's weird bizarre it doesn't necessarily make sense 
Also, I uh, love that game. Just just side note. I thought that that game visually has some scenes that I still think about as like really incredible, like moments. Have you played the, the life updates? Have you played the DLC? I haven't played any of the DLC, but I guess there's um... there's like the two DLCs out and they are basically the length of the original game. One of the DLC has literally my worst fears come to pass. It's uh, all water. Just, the, just sharks everywhere? Not sharks, but it's like an old hag lady who lives under the water and pulls you down. And literally, it's <laughs> terrifying. Gotcha. It's terrifying. Like, you have to jump on stuff and she'll, like, try to knock you off. Oh, it, it nope. Not a fan. So. Mm. Apparently, you did not get to the devil's chimney. Oh, God. <sighs> Shit. Shit. Can like I, I put you like down said, the devil's confused. chimney? I was confused. Yeah. I clearly Make wasn't sure there. Make sure you don't come back. Know. Like there's, you know, the the start, and then you get devil's chimney, okay. and then you, after devil's chimney, you got to climb up the like construction tower, and then you go across sure. the beam. Of course, yeah. And then you get to the next thing, and then there's right. like the patio area, and then you yep. get up that, and then you got to yeah. go to the furniture, and the furniture, mm -hmm. and then you get to the orange table. Yeah, sure, yeah. So I mean, an amateur wouldn't get there, but a professional. I am no professional. All right. I am. So, uh, Jesse, you got Moving a category? On. Yeah, I do have a category. <laughs> um, I want to, I think this is a, a great, great category. It's called uh, the Black Hole Award. Why? And this is where, where time and space cease to exist and you end up playing way too long. Okay. Uh, is Civ yours? Can I just throw out a guess? <laughs> is, is it Civ? Uh, it, it, well, Civ doesn't count. Uh, why? Why does it not? Civ six. It didn't come out this year, right? Oh, did it? Not? No, I no, it didn't. It was so, but I feel like uh, some very good time wasters would be Breath of the Wild. I think is a huge yeah. destroyer of time. Uh, Divinity Original Sin two is a destroyer of time and worlds. Um, I definitely think Total War two Warhammer is yes. a destroyer of time. Yes. Uh, Persona five massive destroyer of time. Um, the original sin too yeah that's what the, i said he just said that well to uh, be fair if you are going to list off work. all the games then we can't really <laughs> contribute that much so that's oh fair. i guess you're right. i'll shut up <laughs> all right I yeah, now we're just going to repeat the ones uh, that you said divinity original Sorry. sue uh you know breath divinity of the wild original sue <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude divinity you're not like that one <laughs> That's why I like the original Sue. Uh, Sue is that's the one of the, it's a sexy visual novel version. <laughs> original uh, Sue. I lost a lot of time to Path of Exile when the update came out. Which uh, one? Because there was one like two days ago, wasn't there? Yeah, that was not also that. equally I huge. I haven't played it since that update. Yeah. But like the the last like big update that they did, man, that game. <laughs> you feel like you can just sit there and play it forever. Um. Uh, a couple of games that are are like competitive but really short. So time goes by because you just keep doing the just one more yes. thing. Yes. Um, is Antihero played a lot yep. of Antihero. Good mm -hmm. shit. And Good uh, this is very recently, but um, I go into kind of a vortex with Battle Right. Yeah. Battle Right and that game because the each round is like two minutes long you're just like yeah. all right one more all right battle right's really fun all right one more that game is battle so Rite's fun great. dude yeah it's really crender we should play it together anyways all right i'll play some I, battle I won't right. be a part of your team because that sounds miserable <laughs> okay. i'll have you know i'm gold in league of legends <laughs> <laughs> all right oh you know what i also even though i uh this is new and it may fall off for me but like jackbox party pack four Hell yeah. I want to include in this. Which yeah. which that's the ones where, have you been sinking a huge amount of time into? Like, well, every time I do play, I play longer than I anticipate playing. Right. And I think that's probably what the, the spirit of the category is. Sure. Where it's like, you know what? I'm just going to keep playing for a little bit more. And then four hours go by. You're like, what happened? Where am I? Yo, you wake Mon up. Monster Seeking Monster is the best new Jackbox game. Mm -hmm. it's, so it's, good. it's an actual game as opposed mm -hmm. to most of the other games which technically aren't but i think i'd have to nominate player unknown's battlegrounds for this you know category. what it probably fits it, it you know probably what? fits here with I him have, yeah it bloody well does i have uh 573 hours Jesus in player unknown's me. battlegrounds <laughs> that's that more is... i think that's more than video games i've played this year total 
seriously. I don't know that I've played that many hours of video games. I don't think I, I don't think I have. I really don't. I'd say 80% of it was from streaming it. And then Jesus League of Legends Christ. is probably the close second behind it. <laughs> that is Where does the it get fact the that you're like, that's a close second, which means that a thousand hours. <laughs> this is like when you type in like time spent or whatever the hell you typed in and wow and you realize you played wow for like yeah. five years straight you're like what have i done what with my life I do? Yeah. and i can't get it back <laughs> can't get it back now i will say i did play a lot of legion for world of warcraft i spent like two months straight of just playing legion i gotta look up how much i played of that you played on the alliance side so it doesn't count no uh, that's true <laughs> As much as the game original didn't come out, the expansion fucking did this year. Yeah. I did sink a good 70 plus hours into War of the Chosen for XCOM 2. Yep. That was a big sink. Especially bearing in mind the new starting options do make it a lot easier to just like, you know what, fuck this run, let's just start again. That's yeah. reasonable. That's fine. But honestly, yeah. like time sync wise, this year it was probably um fucking Titanfall Assault on iOS. Mm. Every day for at least six months. Mm. I only recently stopped playing it. And I don't think it was down to the game. It was just down to, like, I have played myself out at this fucking thing. Right. I just can't. I can't enjoy it anymore. I've just played too much. <laughs> uh, Going back to Breath of the Wild for a minute. Mm -hmm. I still haven't beaten it. What? <laughs> you haven't beaten I, it? I, I have yeah, hours into what? that game. Still haven't beaten it. I couldn't tell you how it ends. I have no clue. It is it is the exact same problem I have with every open world RPG where it's like, but there's something to explore and do. Do everything. And 500 yeah. hours later, I'm like, well, I've got what I want out of this game, but no idea what the story, like how That's it ends. Fair. I couldn't fucking tell you. Of all I of assume he saves the kingdom. You fight Ganon. Yeah. Okay, right, good. Well, there's, there's a great reason not <laughs> to bother getting there then because you already know what you're going to do. So yeah. what the fuck's the point? Oh, it's Ganon again. Ha -ha. Let's you know. Let's just go do something else. It's probably better. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you what happened. Of all the I genres, imagine, you got to sink like a bunch of time into. Playing a Mario into. game though, and being like, it's Bowser again. No, like, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's, Mario it's Odyssey's open, great. It's a big open world RPG. In, in the case of Breath of the Wild, that's like one of the genres. If you're gonna go off track, that's gonna be what the genre you do it in, right? Surely. And, like, let's be real. Uh, I feel like the only time I'll be impressed by the ending of a Zelda game is when Link and Ganon finally admit they love each other and Zelda officiates their wedding, and that's how it ends. The end. How do you know it didn't end that way this time? You didn't you play it. You could be right. You could be right. I wouldn't <laughs> know. Look, yeah. No, if you, if you spend enough time uh, with Fishboy, then he shows up and he stops the wedding. That's true. That's true. And then orgy. That's how it ends. To, to a symphony version of the Zelda theme. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Played by the Game Awards Orchestra and yes, arranged yes. by the Game Awards <laughs> Orchestra. Oh, God. But for whatever reason, uh, Nintendo decided to offload that part of the game to CD Projekt and just had them do all oh, of that. Oh, do the same, yeah. yeah. They have can more I, experience. Speaking of the orchestra, <laughs> can I tell yeah. you, can I tell you the epiphany I had and I... This is probably something everyone already knew, but it hit me. Door and I think you might have been with me when we were watching this. When they were like, and now the video games orchestra will play the theme to For Overwatch. Overwatch. <laughs> and I was just like, they're getting a lot of fucking mileage out of this theme because it's the only goddamn song of that game. And they, they just did the same like thing with Player Unknown. They're <laughs> like, and now the theme for Player Unknown. And I was it's like, like wait, they what? have one? <laughs> I didn't know I they had like one of those. Menu music. Like Overwatch is great. <laughs> it's a fun game, but the theme is just the what like bah, over bah, 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 bah. and then they just kept it, playing that one like thing. Dude, uh, it was it was crazy. I was like Cello know. Girl. Cello I, Girl. That know, cello girl was like <laughs> <laughs> I know three different people who immediately went on Twitter and were like, I cried. So it works. I, you know? Look, they're, they're I also lying. I just <laughs> Those people, I feel like, cried a lot of shit. Like, yeah, I I'd cry say a so. Lot of shit, but I, yeah, I, but that I doesn't mean like, like it's like the Overwatch theme was originally also on an orchestra. It's not. It's, it's not fine. new. It's. 
I'm glad I'm glad people can be moved. I'm just saying that me personally am dead inside and I'd like to remember what it felt like <laughs> to love again. And I can't do that with video games because all the damn songs are like, give me a da 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 da. Where was that? Da, Where was, da, I would have been da, like, da, oh, that was oh, about oh. they an orchestra they jammed. for soda music. Well, over um, the <laughs> hi, they, they did that twice during the show. They did? Yeah, it was just oh, really, guess, really short. Right, it was really short and badly arranged. That's why you didn't notice about, it. Boo. Yeah, that sounds like everything that we heard. Yeah, <laughs> just the first one in particular. They just jammed 15 seconds of it in there. You barely noticed it happened, and then they'd moved on to another song in a really clunky way. It's like, wait, what? The look, we were recording what? something, so we showed up late. If I but look, if, if I would have known, I missed it. it, it, it I would have known. I would have been like, oh, I'm feeling it. I would have been in. That's what I want. I want music to like. Every time you find those random clips of like some orchestra playing a crown trigger song and you're like i feel again like that like make me feel something and don't just be like we're gonna play the same three notes from overwatch over and over again it, i can't do it i can't do it i love overwatch that fucking song is just it yeah can't even express it in words so we must express it through avant-garde musical form <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, that's. <laughs> it is the Overwatch theme again. Ba, ba, Literally, ba, ba, ba. I haven't really yeah, played that much Overwatch. Oh. God, me neither. Lately, I haven't touched it in a year. It's just like, uh, it's just the meta. It's just all the like, hey, you're not you're not playing this character that all the pros play, and it's like, all there's right. There's a well. there's a lot of shouting about that. There's a category for you. Yeah, the game he played metal. a shit ton of in 2016. <laughs> Haven't fucking touched in 2017. Go. Oh, okay. Oh my god. And I'll throw in immediately Overwatch. Overwatch. 16 that we haven't touched in 17. <laughs> yeah, uh, that you played quite a lot in 2016. Just didn't go anywhere near it. 2017, like completely over it. Overwatch would be on there for yeah. sure. Um, mm. hmm, I'd have to think about that. Arguably, though. I was over it in 2016, but yeah. Let's see games. <laughs> Just that looking up the list. 2016. I'll tell you. Ready. Battlefield 1. There's one of them. That's a good one. I have not. T I touched that barely for an yeah. hour uh, about a month ago thinking, oh, what's changed? It's like, oh, they eventually put one of the expansions in. Feels pretty much the same. Okay, bye. <laughs> Didn't touch it again. Yeah. yeah. I, man, for for me, I, I, I think it might be Hearthstone just because. That the, would have been true until last week for me. The less time I play that game, the more like the more distance I have, the more I'm like, if I were to ever go back, the amount of yes. money I would have to spend to feel like I am playing it again would be insane. Yes. That's what's good about the dungeons is you don't need to spend any money for yeah, it. Yeah, but there's also no award, there's no reward for them really or anything and they will the eventually is get the boring. Experience. Yeah, but you will eventually get bored of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's... Oh, I almost <laughs> choked and died. <laughs> 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 so there's a feeling of uh, a sense of pride and accomplishment involved in that. I don't. This this category is hard for me because I don't play a lot of like competitive games, multiplayer play, stuff that yeah, lasts for a I don't long play time. Stuff that has a lot of longevity. Yeah. Civilization Six. Um, Never. Civ Six is my go-to <laughs> all the time, every time. <laughs> um, I haven't played a lot of it this year. I must Tom admit. Clancy's The Division. You know I, what? I don't think I played any of that in 2016 either. But... <laughs> what is uh, uh, the Siege? Rainbow Six uh, Siege? Rainbow Six. Ra yeah, Rainbow Six The one Six. that's doing better Siege. than ever? That one? Yeah, the game, game that literally I should be playing have not touched. That game's I'm great. in the same situation of I know this is very, very good and is getting yeah. better all the time. And s simultaneously, I'm scared to go back to it because I will get wrecked. Like, I didn't even learn the original maps, and now you've got all this shit. What the fuck am I going to do? I'm going to be awful at this. That was terrifying. Uh, Pokemon I, Go, great one. It's a good... <laughs> yeah, uh, there was some of, yeah, some of you still play that. I know you do. I, I haven't touched that probably in the last... Man. I, like, opened it for a bit, and I'd be like, oh, I'll just, you know, walk around when with this. And I was like, eh. 
like Go? June of 2016. No, it didn't. Wasn't it? No. Pokemon oh, Go has been out longer than that. Or has yeah. it? Uh, actually, no, you're right. July 2016. Yeah. So I yeah, thought. sorry. I, kept, I, I thought you meant June this, this year. year yeah. Checkmate, atheist. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, July 2016. Yeah. Uh, yeah right, that's a, because, that was yeah, it was a little ago. ways Jesus. in that they did the uh, Pikachu with a Santa hat event. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I remember this. Yes. Uh, Final Fantasy XV. 15. Yeah, that no way. One. I'm still playing that shit. Uh, well, the, the, like... Uh, DLC came there out. There was a shit ton of DLC this yeah. year for that game, right? Lots of DLC. Yeah. Titanfall Did... 2. There's one. Oh. That is, <laughs> I have not played a single hour of Titanfall 2 okay. this year. That is true. To be fair, though, I only played about two weeks of it when it came out in 2016. That didn't have the longevity either for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, mm. if we're going to talk about games that I own but didn't play, I got a lot of fucking... I got a lot of those. <laughs> So let's start with Mass Effect. I can start right there. <laughs> a game that came out this year? Yeah. Well, that doesn't count, does it? Well, I bought it and then didn't play okay, it. Okay, <laughs> that's not what the category is at all. <laughs> Stuff you have played a lot of in 2016 and fucking bailed on 2017. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Mass, Mass Effect does not count. That did still come out this year. Hetsune Miku VR Future Live. I don't believe you played a lot of that in 2016. <laughs> I love that game. I don't believe favorites. you for a second. One of my favorites. Uh, uh, no Man's Sky. Classic. How much time did you actually put into No Man's Sky in 2016? Um, let me check my Steam here. Yeah, let's find out. Because I'm curious if, whether any of us actually spent any real time with that game. Because I fucking hated it as soon as I started it. And it didn't get any better. Um, let's see. 4.2 hours. So no, you didn't basically play <laughs> any of it. Right, okay. Cool. Uh, well, I you know, purchased for PS4 and then played at least 200. I don't believe you. All right. Well. I think, I think you're dishonest and lying. <laughs> Why would I lie? I can think of several reasons. All right. <laughs> uh, I think that's... Yeah, I don't see any other games really. Yeah, that's probably about it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Dodger, throw something at us. What you got? Um. <laughs> I feel like this this one would just uh, be some of the same games that we've already said, so I'm going to skip it. Okay. One of one of the categories that I had was best Dark Souls, i.e., like best hard game that people are like, "Oh man, it's the Dark Souls of." I don't blank. think we have really covered that. Okay, I sure. think we could we could get some mileage out of that one. Best Dark right. Souls of blank game. Yes, be <laughs> the best the Dark Souls of blank. Uh, I think Cuphead's an obvious one. That's a, That's a very obvious there. one. That's the Dark um, Souls of cartoony platformers. Ruiner mm. was another one that that I was thinking of. That's the Dark Souls of isometric cyberpunk. Hack and slash. Mm. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Mm. I think Does it only counts for this category if it's a hard game that's hard, but it's fair. It's not like a bullshit. It's Hollow Knight, the the Dark Souls of Metroidvania. <laughs> Game's so good. God damn it. Oh shit. The Surge is the best Dark Souls of Dark Souls clones that was actually <laughs> trying to be Dark Souls. What about Dark Souls? Th there was no the, Dark Souls game this no year. No Dark Souls came out this <laughs> year. No. So you, you don't get All to right. count. Neo came out this year, though. That's, yeah. that's a, a Dark Souls. <laughs> what game genre is Absolver? Absolver is a Dark Souls of, like, learning to play Dark Souls of mechanics. It's a over-the-shoulder fighting game. Yeah. The Dark Souls of that. Well, it's the Dark Souls of that because it doesn't fucking explain anything. Right. <laughs> that, that's a pretty good description of that, simply because it's like, hi, we're Absolver, and we're not going to tell you a fucking thing. Enjoy. It's like yeah. the lore of Dark Souls. In you have to learn it yourself. Not just the lore, all of it. All of the game. 
It's like, we're going to tell you how to punch, and then you're on your own, kiddo. That's true. Getting over it, it's like a Dark Souls of platformers. The the Dark Souls, yeah. Um, I mean, I guess sure, that's a not? fair game. Yeah. Is the get No, it's not, though. Surely why? getting over it is not actually fair at all. I mean, why? Well, it's full of bullshit. Like what? And waste your time constantly, right? That's not a... Th no. Really? You're telling there's me it's not full of bullshit? I mean, people have speed ran it. Like, people have speed like ran every that game. game that, like, fucks you over that you didn't see coming, I don't think. Really? Like, from sure watching it, it's just, like, you find the ledges and you grab the ledges. And if you miss a ledge, a lot of it's, again. Yeah. And if you still can't grab the ledge, then it's like, it's yeah, you. Yeah, but isn't right? a lot like, of the grabbing the ledge up. trial and error, though? Sure. But, like, Dark Souls fighting a boss, you don't know what the boss is going to do. You have to trial and error a boss to learn what their moves are. Yeah, like, people can speed run it, like, consistently. Hmm. Like people like, get used to it. Like It's not like, oh, man, it screwed me over out of random RNG or something. All right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What is the Dark Souls of visual novels, Dodger? <laughs> the Dark Souls of visual novels. I mean, I mean, we could say the letter. Yeah. This is the Dark That's Souls true. of visual novels. It lures uh, you into a false sense of security, and then and then it throws QTE horror zones at you. <laughs> okay, that sounds that sounds like that. Mm. Would would Hellblade be the Dark Souls of walking simulators? It's it's interesting that we it could even describe Hellblade as a walking simulator when it has actual combat and game you mechanics. Fight in, in it, it though, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. So it's not a walking simulator because at that point you could say, well. So it's got a war then, because you have to walk between locations and then you fight, which is what Hellblade is. Okay. You call it the Dark Souls of talking simulators. There's a lot of simulated talking in that game mm. from every possible conceivable angle. You could do that. What are the Dark Souls of puzzle games? Um, I don't play those. Dodger plays a few of them. Don't you play ultra hard, weird, fucking ass puzzle oh, games sometimes? Oh, what's that one where you are an alchemist, Dodger? Opus Magnum. Yeah, that's the Dark Souls of that shit. That game's so fun, though. Oof. Wasn't Shenzhen IO out this year as well? I think that was 2016. Maybe it was. Then. Yeah. Let's find out. I just scrolled past it. Um, Shenzhen IO came out, out end of 2016. Yeah. Crendor, describe to me the Dark Souls of sports games. Um, probably, uh, let's see, there's NBA, that's just microtransactions, uh, let's see, Madden, uh, well, they're not, uh, I wouldn't say there's many Dark Soul S sports games, because they're all kind of just the same <laughs> <laughs> year after year, but just Fair the enough. rosters and throw, they throw in something like, hey, it's a story. <laughs> well, actually, no. Yeah, Blood Bowl would probably be it. But Blood Bowl, I guess they had an expansion release this year. There yeah, you go. there you go. You can count that. That that's that. Yeah, maybe. Although yeah. Th I think there's probably too much RNG in that to be to be counted as that. It depends if you count <laughs> as hard but fair or RNG bullshit. Mm. Yeah, Mutant Football League came out. That was pretty good. That was kind of like a crazy thing going on. But I don't know if it's Dark Soulsy. It's mm. to be it's... fair, we we have stretched this category beyond a breaking point already. This is a joke <laughs> yeah. category because nothing is the dark souls of every anything. <laughs> yeah. It just doesn't exist. Uh what about here's another bait one. Best nostalgia bait. Ooh. Sonic Mania was mine. Yeah. It's mine was hard to argue out of that one. Yeah. Ukulele. But isn't that game bad though? No. Is like, that what makes it, it the bait? It's Kinda not bad. It. Why wow. isn't it bad? Um well, I thought the gameplay itself was good. I thought they could have used more maps. I thought they could have used, like, like some of the writing was kind of rushed, it felt like. Like, there were parts where I'm like, they could have did this a lot better. It could have some more stuff. But, like, I enjoyed the gameplay. I enjoyed playing the game. I didn't really like the final boss, but, like, I enjoyed the rest of it. Uh, 
Wait, would you and, say that ukulele was better nostalgia bait for you than? Well, I guess it would be. Yeah, and was, it was. I was gonna say better than Zelda. Yeah, because I'm not really nostalgic about Zelda. Okay. Really, Ze- like fair. this Zelda was the first Zelda I actually played and like beat. Okay. Well, how are you do in that case? How are you defining nostalgia base? Are you defining it as a game that uses nostalgia to lure you in? Yeah, something that you buy literally because you love the franchise. Well, so I said ukulele because it was essentially the people that made Banjo Kazooie and old rare games that I played, and then mm. they're like, "Here's the game," and I'm like, "Yes." I think yes, that counts. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you could certainly say that for some people of Mass Effect Andromeda. People were extremely sure, nostalgic yeah. about that series. Like, oh god, the next one. Can't wait to. Oh god, no, no. I can't that, wait to not be disappointed. Yeah, Battlefront <laughs> Two is pretty clearly one, but then kind of so was the first one, I guess. But that doesn't make it any less nostalgia, Brady. Yeah, because you know they're baiting on the nostalgia one for fucking Star Wars and two for the older Battlefronts. But it's like, mm. hey, it'll totally be more like this. And it'll be better than we did last time. And da 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 da. There's, yeah, there was a good amount of it in that. And it was definitely bait because it bait you do into a horrible loot box situation of awful. Some, uh, some people in chat are saying that it doesn't count as bait if you weren't miserable. I don't actually care end. in any way what chat <laughs> thinks. I but... don't think that. Well, I'm just just to like because we have an audience, TB. I don't know if you knew that. And no, so... I, I generally I I <laughs> do so all my shows know. presuming that I don't actually. It's um, it's how I keep saying. The in when I use the word bait, it literally just means something about it lured me in for a good or bad conclusion, regardless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something I agree. lured me in. And since it's your fucking category, you get to define it. Yeah. Uh, fuck EA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, TB is the Dark Souls of podcasts. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. <laughs> this is the Dark Souls of podcasts? <laughs> no, TB is. Have oh, you ever okay, been on this podcast? I mean, it's very, very <laughs> difficult to get to the end of. <laughs> Extremely yes. hard to get to the end of. Yeah. I still haven't got there. I've been here for years. Nah, that's fair. Fuck the uh, Oscars. Yes. I'm trying to think of something else that baited for either good or bad reasons. I mean, of, you know, we, we mentioned Mania. Mania baited for very good reasons. Mm. Um, hmm. Dawn of War 3 definitely baited for. You remember when we made good Warhammer games? And I was like, yes, I do remember that. Well, this isn't one of them. <laughs> I think Warhammer games definitely count for you. Like every Warhammer game. <laughs> yeah, in many ways. It's like, what is it? The only reason I'm buying it? Because it is part of that particular IP? Yes. So... Oh, God. Dream Daddy definitely should have been on the waifu bait category. Anyways, uh, yes. keep going. Oh, no. We'll, we'll have to start again now. <laughs> <laughs> we got to start from the beginning. We've got ah. <laughs> definitely not. One, unless we got anything better in that category, let's do one last quick one, then we'll take a break. All right, best loot boxes. Oh, best me. loot boxes, opposed <laughs> to worst, yeah. best. Yeah, best. Ooh, like, best obviously, ones. Battlefront 2 lost the, that category. Y- what, uh, yeah, what? I don't think that's getting nominated in this category. <laughs> no. Like, there's got to be some games with great loot boxes. Very, right? very recently, they did some loot box stuff for Path of Exile, which was all mm. cosmetic for a game that is essentially free. And they did a nice thing, which frankly all of them should do, which is they listed the odds of getting certain items. That's nice. So, you know, you're going to define a one that's better than others. Whether or not you like the practice or not isn't really relevant. That's That's a a best example. It's best business practice if you're going to do that. Yeah. And pretty much Uh, any game with, like, cosmetic... Like, even PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds, it's like you can get clothing like you can't get like super weapon extraordinaire or something i think the the like sweet spot for me is games that are free to play but have like a way that you can buy everything that you would like to get the full experience of the game or you can just play it a ton and get like champions or whatever in loot boxes sure yeah as long as it's not, you know, Battlefront, we think you'd enjoy playing 500 hours to get Darth <laughs> Vader. 
You would yeah. like that, though. <laughs> we know you'd it's like it. It's not that much. <laughs> it's really not. It's really not that much, guys. Uh... <laughs> Give us money. Uh, a, good, a good loot box has got to be satisfying to open. It's got to like would... have some pretty good shit in it. I mean, I'll go Heroes of the Storm on that, actually. Yeah, and say that actually, most most of the boxes I've opened in Heroes of the Storm have had some pretty cool shit in them. I actually think it's better than Overwatch, even though yeah. I like don't play it. Like Overwatch, no, I think it's absolutely better than Overwatch. Overwatch had it. Here's an example: Halloween event. All right, I get a Halloween thing. I open my loot box. I get a like random ass generic skin. And I'm like, why aren't I? Why didn't I get a Halloween skin? Like what? I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> it's a Halloween event. You get a Halloween I... loot box and you get a generic skin. <laughs> like at thing. least have it like card Jesse's packs where it's biting like his oh, tongue I got my for classic some packs. reason. Oh? He's biting his tongue for some reason. I disagree. I fundamentally <laughs> disagree. I, just I think keep over waiting for him to do the maybe I'm old face. No, no, no. It's, it's not, not a maybe happening. I'm old. I think that that the heroes loot boxes have things like sprays and voice so lines Overwatch. So and like Overwatch. Overwatch. Like a lot of shit that is like, <laughs> why is this in a MOBA? Like it's that's nonsense. Like where's my skins and my mounts? Like the mounts are fucking cool. But Even they offer banners, both of you those can, though. Like, you take a thing and is awesome. Yeah, I mean th those to me are good. Like, But there's th a lot of stuff that's trash in there. That yeah, but there's a way more stuff that's trash in Overwatch in my opinion. Way more. I, I mean, I'd rather have voice lines than a MOBA. Yeah, voice lines Avatars and in sprays. A MOBA? Have you yeah. like in League of Legends? Yes, how many actually, times I yeah. spam voice lines. I'm like yeah. not even holding the control. I'm not even holding the control. I'm not even holding the yeah. control. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That doesn't oh. sound cool. That <laughs> it's doesn't great. sound. Oh, you're the person I hate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none of oh. that sounds awesome. <laughs> no, I, 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 I agree more with Grendel. I would prefer voice lines in a MOBA than I would in Oof. Overwatch. Like, yeah, when are you going to use your voice line before you're like, I got to end of the game highlight. I got to use it now or something. Well, like, I don't know. same thing with sprays, though. When the fuck am I going to use a spray in a MOBA? Well, why? Well, uh, well, I well, know, but there's... MOBA sprays well, are stupid. Well, I don't want to spray Yeah, the sprays are bad in both games. <laughs> They're shitty uh, film also, in both games. There's also, like... I know they think it's a funny, hilarious idea to have, like, the announcer voices, but when the announcer voice is murky and it's like... Ruggle, ruggle, ruggle. You have no what you don't know what the fuck's going on. You're like, well, that was cool. You, I got you didn't this, have I guess, to equip it. it. You weren't forced to equip it, um, right? But it's just another. I feel like there's a lot for as much good as there is, and I think this is the loot box thing in general. For as much good as it is, most loot boxes are filled with like, what kind of crap can we get away with giving gamers sure. that they'll yeah. appreciate? Now, League of Legends did it well, where they now have emotes that pop up above your head, and it's like boing, and I got a Teemo one, and he's like. And I use that because I play Teemo. It's just... I like the uh, <laughs> the voice stuff in Atlas Reactor because they're all taunts. So every character like already has all of their voice lines, but you can get taunts in boxes because Atlas Reactor, for anybody who doesn't know, is like a, a hero-based um, sort of XCOM strategy game. And so everybody's choosing what to do at the same time. And if you really think you're about to nail it, you can hit the taunt button. And you can set like your taunt to different things and say something super cool. And it's almost better when you say something really cool and then you just fucking miss. <laughs> like it's, it's good. I love getting taunts in boxes. <laughs> I like the way Faria does it. Um, you can get two kinds of essentially loot box slash card packs. Your regular card packs give you the cards you need. The, you can get golden ones and you get rewarded for these sometimes or sometimes you just buy them because you feel like blinging out, basically. And that box is purely for bling. It's for getting golden cards and getting um, changes to your little home base and all that kind of shit. I like the fact they segregated that. That's pretty cool because it doesn't feel like I am getting a bunch of junk in my regular packs. They, they're just sort of off to the side for uh, people that want that kind of shit. So... Mm. That's quite nice. If you're going to do it, that's a pretty good way of doing it. Yeah. It's just, yeah, I think there's good ways of doing loot boxes. It's just it's a very easy thing to monetize and take advantage of, which is yeah, why so sure. many people do it. All right. I don't know if there's good ways of doing it, but. 
Well, it, it's all like they're not brilliant. Yeah, it's but painful. some of them are not, in fact, killing the games industry as some people claim they are. Like there are yeah. better, there are w versions of them which are by no means as offensive as shit we've seen this year, like the way the Battlefront does it, or Need for Speed does it, or all those sports games do it. Mm -hmm. There are, I think, people need do need to realize there are way, way, way fucking worse ways of doing things. Yeah. I think we're about done. Let's take a quick break, come back and wrap up the categories, folks, for part one of the Fake Co-Opties Award Show. You're watching the Co-Optional Podcast. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Co-Optional Podcast. That was a really fast countdown. No, it wasn't. Yeah, we, were, we were trying to count down with you, and we were on seven when you were on five, and we were like, oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> you were like, it here we go, going well. in 10, and then we were like, 10, nine, you're like, four. Three. Yeah, but that's one. the that's the only one that really matters, though. That's the rest yeah, of it does, but... isn't actually important. It's the f five, four, three, and then the that's the shut up time. Man, you said in ten, and that was a lie. Yeah. Yes, it is, and you're gonna have to get used to that in life. Yes, Dodger. Um, can I, uh, after the fact, add another one to uh, the Dark Souls of puzzle you games? You can, but you will ruin everything if you do it. <laughs> okay, great. Um, Battle Chef Brigade was a very what. Like the late, the later shit is so fucking hard. It is actually, yeah. <laughs> the later shit is really, really hard. The Very later shit. Game. I feel that in my own life. The later shit. The hard. later, the later shit is pretty hard. <laughs> later shit, a little hard. Can I suggest a category? Yeah, it might be appropriate for all of us. Sure. <laughs> Best streaming game of 2017, in your opinion. Get the fuck out if you say PUBG, Crendor. He's gonna, of course, he's gonna, gonna say, say that. I mean, just judging by the numbers, probably. Here's the thing, PUBG. though. Here's the thing. If he says it, he's gonna have to answer my question as to why, in detail, he believes. Oh, you can just say it makes me lots of money, which would be true. It's accurate. Which All would right. not be a good enough answer, and I'll push him to be better. I would have to pick Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Uh huh. <laughs> and why exactly do you think? The Player Unknown's <laughs> Battlegrounds is a really good streaming game. Yes, it is a great streaming game. Why do you think that? Well, let's start with the uh, the facts. All right, it's the number one most viewed game on Twitch. Now you may say, why is it the most viewed game on yes, Twitch? Yes, actually, that is what Oof. I would say. That's a great question. Let me answer it, is. it for you. Um, so first off. It every game you play in Player Unknown Battlegrounds has a different element to it compared to the previous one. So one game, you might be in a jeep and you're like, "All right, let's go," and then the circle's way up in the northwest, and you like don't norm normally go to the northwest, and so you're driving. You get your friend gets sniped out, and it's just you and the jeep with him, and their bodies dangling in there, and you're like, "Shit, dude!" And then uh, you flip over and you. Your car's broken, and then you die in the red zone. And that's just one round. And you're like, oh my god, let's go again. Then you go school round. You drop into school. There's like 30, 30 people dropping there. You're punching people. Everybody's fighting. You pick up a gun. You're like, shoot. But then you're like, oh shit, I missed. And someone else gets a better gun. They shoot you. And you're like, damn, esports ready. And then uh, you like, well, let's go school again. So then you go school again. But this time you get lucky, and you beat up people. And so every round even if you go to the same place is different and that adds just variety to the game compared to a lot of other games such as uh, previously H1Z1 where H1Z1 all you do you just get in a jeep you sit on the border and you wait and it's like all right well here we go sleep. like this one you at least you can you can do that but it's up to you you can still win by not doing that and there's just you can do bridge rounds so if it's on the bridge you can go to the bridge and then snipe people coming in from the bridge that's a whole different type of thing so it's you know it's like a game within a game you're not just playing the same game every time because you have so much variety based on what's happening in the match and that's why it's also the number one twitch streaming game making all your opinions Invalid because Twitch has already proven that it is the most powerful streaming game. I think game it's actually proven alive. that it's second below Fortnite, actually. But never mind. So you th you think nah. it has nothing to oh, do with uh, skill? Let's look that up right now. You know, it does have to do with skill. There's nothing, no skill involved in the the joy of watching this game. Um, 
I mean, it depends. I mean, if, if like, you're watching Crendo stream, probably not. If you're watching me stream, there's probably not. Yes, correct. But there I are mean, other streams that are much, much better than that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there you go. Right now, player unknown, 67,000 viewers, Fortnite, 32,000. Numbers speak for themselves, you know what I'm saying? It's double well, the that's viewers, just at doubles. one time, but... Uh, it's met numerous times, actually. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I can talk about what I don't like about Fortnite as well. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, I mean, it's like anything. Do you, it's like you can either... Most people get popular either for... Uh, the skill of the game they're playing. So, like, I'm very good at this game, and it's what I do, and people watch them for that reason. Okay, so the or other reason... watch you because you're entertaining at the game. So the other reason... what most of us do, because no. none of us are very good. Yeah, that's definitely not true. So what's the <laughs> other reason? Uh, and then the third reason is... I don't know. I like nailed this. It. I like this pitch. Cool. Like yeah. <laughs> good yeah, good solid it. pitch. <laughs> There were, I feel like there were elements of truth in there. Elements. Yes. And then everything else right. was bullshit. So why don't you guys like Player Unknown Battlegrounds? I, I don't dislike the Player Unknown Battlegrounds. I, I don't, I don't dislike wrong. it. I just think it should be better than it is. Here's the thing. Look back at the category. All right. It is best streaming game. Yeah. I think you're right. Honestly. Because there's so much downtime in that damn game, it literally is ninety percent community interaction and, and bullshit. It's ninety percent reading then, donations and subs. Yeah, yeah I could see then, why people like it. Yeah, and then something happens. <laughs> it's like when you watch a stream that's like, yeah, this is a League of Legends stream, and it takes them forty five minutes to play one game. At least with this, the forty five minutes is the gameplay, <laughs> and then something happens. They die, and they're like, "We'll get them next time." Chicken dinners all around, y'all. You know, and then more jokes, and it's a podcast. Th there's a. I think you're you're right. There's a solid point to that. Uh, if you look at the top streaming Twitch games on a regular basis, then it's usually the ones with downtime mm -hmm. that actually do the best. You can actually yeah. look over and read chat and answer questions and and notice uh -huh. alerts. Yeah, and, Le League yeah. does yeah. have downtime. It does. You know, yeah. not not maybe as much as Player Unknown does, but it does have it. And mm -hmm. the more intense a game is, often the less it is viewer friendly, at least for long periods of time. It can be quite exhausting to watch. Mm -hmm. You'd think, oh, you know, Battle Right would be an incredible streaming game. To some extent, it's not because it's all on all the time. You know, the but breaks only between for rounds like two are pretty short. Yeah. In between like, every game, you're like, all right, chat, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I mean, like you can right be, now. but you don't get if, a lot of time. Unless you're the one who dies first, of course. Like right now, if you oh, look at the top five, <laughs> top five games on Twitch right now are League, Hearthstone, GTA 5, Battlegrounds, and Ark. All and, games that have downtime. Yeah, all have pretty significant downtime. Uh, Hearthstone in particular. Downtime? Yeah, it does. Hmm. There are absolutely slow parts of that game. Hmm. Like first five to ten minutes I is relatively slow. Us. Whenever you die, you know, you're down for a good amount of time. Um, There's running I, back to lanes, that kind of thing. Can I pitch two games for this category that are for, like, very different reasons than what Krendor pitched? Sure. Okay. Um, Persona 5, because everybody stuck it to the man and said, fuck you, we're going to stream this game anyway. <laughs> and so I think it's a it's terrible just... streaming game. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's look, it's not a good, like, I want to interact with chat. It's not a good anything. Like a it's com almost completely <laughs> linear. It's a fucking but terrible streaming game. It was great for the fact that they said, don't stream this game. And everybody was like, I'm going to stream this game anyway. So for, the, for that picked it reason, for the rebellion. Yeah, I'm picking it for the rebellion. Um, okay, Rage Against the Machine. What's your other one? For entertainment factor, <laughs> I would say... Uh, Cuphead. I had a lot of fun watching people play Cuphead. Yeah. There's a lot of Schadenfreude and shared well, misery not, in that game and sympathy. Not only that it it's like I enjoyed watching people who were, you know, getting frustrated but kept going. But I also enjoyed people who had already played it a million times, like Sly. Yo, Sly like knew all of the the speed gaming strats for that yeah, game. Yeah. So watching him play against bosses, you were like, 
he beat that boss in one minute. What the fuck? Right. So there was, I think that that game uh, wasn't evergreen, but I think it had a lot to give in terms of entertainment value for sure. an audience. Yeah. For good, for a good few months anyway. I don't mm -hmm. see it being something that people come back to. But yeah, yeah for, for definitely for a couple of months though, it was absolutely fun to watch other people play that. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? I thought Zelda was pretty fun to stream. That was just kind of the same reason. It's a lot of downtime. He's chilling out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Lots to ride that. your horse. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy... You enjoyed... a sick horse. <laughs> Not really. I mainly ran. What the fuck? <laughs> One of I the knew. first things that game teaches you how to do is get yeah, a horse. But <laughs> yeah, but I didn't want to use the horse. I'd rather just Why run. So I enjoyed the exploration of using my own legs. All right. Experiencing that, it for that, myself. No, that's awful. That's an awful reason. <laughs> that's awful. And then you just use your glider. Just a bad reason for everything. <clears throat> mm, false. I put tooth and tail up there uh, because of match length. Mm. Yeah. It, okay. They don't drag on all that much. You get your ass handed to you. Okay. You get a ridiculously unfair map. Okay. It's not going to last too long. Let's get on to the next one. Worked out pretty well. Plus, it Honestly? helps that it's an RTS where everything is in what. Everything that's happening usually is on one screen because of the way you organize your armies. Yeah, but that's why I've been trying to analyze why I really enjoy Battle Right when I don't like MOBAs. And I think it's because even if I'm frustrated, it literally lasts like two minutes. It's like two minutes of yeah. frustration where I'm bad. And then I'm like, all right, let's try again. It also helps <laughs> the frustration came from you being bad and not from this guy's five levels higher than me. Right, unless you're playing with viewers, <laughs> like I. Yeah, but if you were good, you could be able to carry them though. Sure. So you're still yeah. bad. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm frustrated with myself. You're. You're absolutely. Yeah, but right. we should absolutely Probably. blame the viewers though, as much well, as possible. What's another thing with uh, going back to battlegrounds? All right, is that if you watch something like League of Legends, you can watch it, but a lot of times you'll be like, he's casting a thing. I don't know what it is. In battlegrounds, it's like they have a gun. I know that gun does. He shot him. I know what's happening. Like, you always know what's happening, even if you don't really know the game. Well, if you watch something like League or Dota, you don't, you'd be like, There's, what's that guy do? Who's that guy? Or, like, what's happening? It's a team fight. Like, I don't know. It's a lot easier to follow. Sure. So Shooting people with guns is definitely easier to follow than hundreds of different abilities. I'll give you that. Yeah. So, I think that's another thing that just that is adds true. to it. That's probably what why CSGO is good. What would yours be, Jesse? I don't, I truly, 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 like, hate my viewers. I despise <laughs> them, but I have no, to stream. I just, like, <laughs> I, I, I am horrible at following trends of what people like, and, like, I don't ever. Yeah, but what, what do you like, though? Yeah. That's what like, we I care about. I don't play about. Battlegrounds like? because other people like year. it. I play it because I have fun with it. Yeah, but I'm trying to, like. <sighs> what games did you enjoy streaming this year? <laughs> okay. I don't know why that's so hard for me to answer. I truly because don't. you don't I, like streaming. Maybe I like streaming though. I just don't know what. Like I can't. I, for for some like I don't know. I I like the idea of streaming. I don't know that the game matters to me, and I can't remember like when I here's I'm here's the real truth. And I don't know if you like if anyone else feels this way, but I'm sure you do to some extent. The minute I press on. I enter a weird void where I couldn't tell you what the fuck I just did for like five hours. Like <laughs> it's, it's, it's that entertainment thing where like a switch goes on and I do a thing and then it's over that and I'm like, switch goes off. off. <laughs> yeah. And I like, I couldn't tell you what I enjoyed or didn't enjoy about streaming because like, I don't remember 90% of the streams I did. I couldn't tell you what the fuck I said. I couldn't tell you what happened on them. I don't even know. You could come to me and be like, Jesse on this stream, you said some pretty fucked up shit. And I'd be like, <laughs> I think I have to believe you. Like, I don't, I don't know why I don't like, I well, truly do, you, do not remember. Do you think I that's couldn't tell you you're doing it more from a YouTube perspective? Cause that's what, that's what you do with like recording videos, right? You just you go video and then you flip the switch and you're like, bah, 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 Fran Friday. Do, 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 do. And, yeah, then... and then I turn it off and it's like, <laughs> okay, but it's like an entertainment thing. Like one of the things I'm, I do not understand about Twitch 
is mm -hmm. when I tune into someone's stream and they're just like. <laughs> if, if they have a lot of viewers and they're completely focused on the game and never seem to really engage, it normally means that they're just incredible at the game. And that's yes. Like watching. Yeah. Well, like, I get that, but the vast majority are not just incredible at the game. I just don't understand. There's a lot of, like, look, I don't understand why people watch when, I'm, when I do shit, but, like, I especially don't understand when people are, like, quiet and focused <laughs> and just, like, really into a game and not interacting, but not, like, doing anything particularly entertaining. I, I just don't get it. I don't get the culture. I never will. I have officially just, like, <laughs> given up trying I don't think and, there's a single game that I can think of that you're, competitively anyway, that you're so into that you would get that. Yeah, I never, I never like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, when I play games, I enter sort of, I, I go into this, this like weird blackout mode <laughs> and I just play and I make a goofy voice or two and then shut off. And then I'll literally just be like, I think I'm going to like, not do anything for four hours now <laughs> like i'm just done <laughs> hell at the end of these podcasts i'm like fuck <sighs> i guess i'm gonna do nothing for the rest of the day like tuesdays are a wash for me yeah because i know <laughs> like and i just it's weird i'm constantly just like all right let's like try our hardest to do shit today but it never happens streaming takes a lot out of me and it's just because i'm like i have if people are going to show up for this garbage i gotta make it entertaining Gotta be good. And I don't in some way. See, yeah, and it's I'm always opposite. hit or miss. I'm not entertaining. I go the opposite path. And then I go so under unentertaining that it becomes entertaining. <laughs> but you do stuff during your like I don't know if you watch your stuff. It's all stream, really annoying stuff, guys but he like does do stuff. Idiots. Like well, yeah. The, the, it's hilarious. <laughs> but like that's different than what I see a lot of streamers do, which is literally just like Yeah. <laughs> And the games in the background, like I maybe, I guess people love that shit because there's always a need for that too. People just want to see the game and they don't want to see you like. Which it, I don't give honestly, a shit. Honestly, that's your quite nice. Yeah, really. Let's like because it has true. got to the point where some games have just become. Oh, you know, this thing that this giant company of people worked on for four years has become a canvas for your dumb face and your stupid yeah. jokes and reading out sub messages. That actually, I don't really like that. And I think it's fucking disrespectful to the work that you're using as a, as a stage for all that shit. So actually, it's quite nice that some people just tune into a game to watch a game played as well as it could be. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I just have, I, I literally couldn't, like, some of the most fun I have on stream so far, the things I remember are playing like the letter with Dodger because that's really fun or playing evil with him with Alex like doing stuff with friends who are in the room with you those are the few times where I don't black out because I'm like <laughs> I gotta be entertaining and I just like zoom in Let's... those times I'm like there's someone here who can carry shit with me and so I like can sort of just all right let's just be silly and stupid but yeah I don't I can't I loved I know I loved uh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I played it all on stream. I literally couldn't tell you 90% of what happened in that fucking game. I can't remember. If I get back in the game and start playing again, I'll be like, oh yeah, I know. But like, it's a, a segmented different part of my reality. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, I right now I can't tell you what the fuck that plot in that game is. You put it in front of me, I'm like, oh yeah! I remember when this happened! <laughs> it's a weird problem I have. I, well, I realize that like 75 to 80% of my streams, I'm streaming with someone else. And I think that's the reason why is because you have like that kind of interaction between you two and it makes it flow a little better. And you're not constantly trying to be like, whoa, everybody was so crazy. Plugs out here. The opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I play almost everything by myself. <laughs> you know, I, I, I used to play with people and then I played with Crendor and realized it was a chore and then went back to playing with <laughs> just a, myself. You just didn't understand. What, the constant <laughs> clapping the and concept. giving huge shout-outs to people that donated 20 cents to you that insult the other people on your stream? Yes, I'll have I, I don't know. understand that. You're right. We only read out 100 bits plus now. All right. Wow, <laughs> a dollar. Incredible. Just a dollar hey. to insult the people that you're you working with. You know what? With. A dollar can buy it's that a potato bargain. game. It's a, a bargain. A dollar can buy that potato game you love. And that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I think you should up it to one Bitcoin. One Bitcoin, you're <laughs> one allowed Bitcoin. to insult the other people you're playing with. <laughs> yeah. That's reasonable. Dude, I All don't right. know how Sam does it. Sam streams for like 14 hours. 
and he just is like he just goes and i'm like i don't i, I hit like it out. I he really hit five hours. really likes money and i'm like you know, he literally the, like the goes is, into a zone kind of like what jesse was talking about yeah. like he gets into a place where i i can't i'll be like out. don't forget to eat like literally <laughs> like, please please take care of yourself and be aware of what time yeah. it is there are like so he, many times where he'll say like all right i'll be home soon and then maybe yeah. four hours later he's like holy shit it's four hours later okay i'm actually coming home now yeah and i've just i just know that he's like that now he the just crazy thing with sam one of the things like i noticed you're like he does it for the money but he doesn't because he'll play something for like 12 hours on stream and then he gets off stream and then he comes back on like our discord and he's like all right i'm still playing so like what do i do now and he just <laughs> keeps playing and i'm like you just stream for 12 hours and he's like yeah but i still gotta do another fight and i'm like <laughs> oh my god yeah he'll, like, um, with, he actually with, like, likes the, games with like the monster hunter stuff right like he's he's been doing monster hunter streams for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours mm -hmm. he'll come home plop on the couch and keep playing monster hunter <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like that's he, sam is like a a true yeah, like, boy goes hard. I can play this it's forever sort of gamer. He does that with, like, that's what he does. He'll just take one game and he just goes crazy with it. Like even freestyle basketball. It's like, I have 10 level 50s. I'm like, I don't know how you do it. I don't, I I don't like, even have one. If we could hone <laughs> that intensity into like something positive, we could be on, we could have colonies on Mars right now. Sam could get us there. I believe this. <laughs> If we can harness it into some form of energy <laughs> if drink, we just, yeah, if we can just we can like, become millionaires. Sell Sam sweat. <laughs> be millionaires. Oh God. My sweet love, my sweet love, <laughs> Sam could be saving the world. He could. He could he be. Could. But instead, he's just trying to play VR. He is. I keep getting the pop up saying Strippin is playing VR chat. So that yeah. can only go deep into the gutter. Yeah. There's only one he way. Will to come, he will come back to me after this, a changed man. I don't know if he'll be too changed. Like oh, just God. VR chat. Be broken. <laughs> All right. <Can't>. Categories. <laughs> let's throw a couple more out before we wrap the show up. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, most relaxing game. Ooh. Oh, oh, um, relaxing game. <laughs> Old man's journey. Old man's journey. That was just sounds like a game I would name. It was Pretty a relaxing. very cute <laughs> game about uh, adjusting the terrain so that an old man can continue his journey. Mm hmm. Huh. Yeah. That was a cute game. Yeah. Um, most people will disagree with me, but Opus Magnum is very relaxing for me. I really, I really enjoyed that game. I yeah, math class. Sense. Super relaxing. <laughs> Not math. You make I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Science How class. do you? Super I haven't played relaxing. this. How do you do this? How do you play it? So Opus Don't... Magnum is a oh, game God. where you. <laughs> no, 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 no. This I'm gonna be, be quiet. I'm gonna just I'm gonna mute myself. I want you to describe this game too correctly. I, I want to see what his reaction. Is. I'm gonna shut All up. Right. I'm gonna mute myself. I'm gonna okay. listen. Uh, Opus Magnum is a game where you're an alchemist. And you're in a world where they've made machines that can do alchemy for you. And so you uh, have to make progressively more and more complex machines to do more and more complex alchemy. Okay. But wouldn't you, can you just do the alchemy yourself? You can. Yeah. So it's just a matter of like he's creating an alchemy is. factory. <laughs> so he's creating an alchemy factory essentially through these robots. You're to mass produce you are, alchemy. That's that's the thing is that through utilizing this this alchemy engineering, right? These mm. alchemy machines. Yeah. Your machine will constantly do the same alchemy over and over and over again much faster than you as a person could do it. That's like the the idea of it. It does sound like it would get very math. It's very not math. math. It's not math. Krenner, I'm going to send you a gif of a machine I made. Okay. It's not math. Is this gonna be like Kerbal Space Program? Like, oh no! Can apart. I send gifts over this program? I can't. Never mind. Well, if you hosted them, yes. If you like, put them on Imga or something. Sure. Oh, that's so much work. Oh, so <laughs> hard. Oh, I guess. Uh, 
I don't think I really play relaxing games, honestly. But Space Plan probably counted, because you didn't- there wasn't really any stress involved in Space Plan. It was just waiting to have my points back so I could buy more stuff. It was a clicker. I mean, it's all it is, clicker. So, what else could it be? Oh, wow. This looks nothing like I thought it would look like. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting, you know, real robots. No. Not, we like, make, puzzle yeah. game. We make a little machine. That... Imagine that those are robot no, arms. No, that's math. That's, that's definitely math. That's not math! math. <laughs> There's no math in this game! <laughs> it's definitely oh. some sort of math. Somebody's, <laughs> like, figured out some algorithm. Be like, this is the easiest it's algorithm to defeat the game. You have, you have to use some some form of math. There's no math in this game. There's I'm definitely math. If there was math in this game, I would fail at it every time. You Did sure you it's fail not at stealth it? math, though? What? You sure it's not yeah, stealth bro? math? They're, they're disguising the math. There's no stealth math. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, you, if, if there was, you wouldn't know because it was stealth. It was stealthy. Yeah. You're not supposed to notice. Yeah. Ray, are you calling me a secret genius? No. See, somebody said that's mechanical engineering. So are you saying there's no math in mechanical engineering? I think there probably is a bit. Yeah. I'm not an expert no. in it, but I think there's there is. No math. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think this game is entirely mathematics by the sounds of it. Yeah. That She's looks been satisfying as hell. Thank you. It is. It's like so, like that solving person a math probably problem. likes doing math. Yeah. Look at how look at how <laughs> satisfying these little machines are. Look at what they're doing. Ah, oh, figuring out how to make it work is so nice. I mean, it's not like you just throw some machine parts together. Like you're doing it to like yeah, solve you some. You literally like you literally pull them off of a sidebar. Solving some kind of them. equation, you said. But are you, are you solving like an equation or a problem or something? It like, it has a in the end, you want it to be like these colors in this order. And then you have to figure out how to so make if, it so that the machine will put those colors in those order. So if red was, it. say, X and green Fuck was off. Y. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off with this, fake, with this fake math. And the slope of the robot is at a 90 degree angle. I may never want to just... The only way that uh, good, oh you combine that music with that GIF. <laughs> <laughs> It's the only way this game makes it. Phenomenal. Wait, this is actually great, though. Uh, right? I'm, yeah. <laughs> that's like. It's <laughs> perfect for this math game. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, now, I was going to vote Zelda again because I love Zelda was just a fun game to chill out to. You run around. I love the atmosphere of it. Yeah. Like, you can just run around and be relaxed. You get Korok seeds. It's great. Uh, and then, uh, I was also going to mention a game I mentioned another time, which is Yonder Cloudcatcher Chronicles. It's essentially Zelda, but without combat. Yeah, so it's that's even a, more that's relaxing. That's a super game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really like that game. And you just go around and like, solve some puzzles and collect stuff, and then it's just it's really relaxing. But yeah, that's got math in it. <laughs> Zelda has math in it? <laughs> well... You have to you count gotta, those damn seeds. That's you gotta, you gotta count the seeds. You gotta, you gotta calculate how many hits so. your weapon's gonna have before it breaks. Um, you know, just basic yeah. stuff. That's true. I hadn't thought of it, but it's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get a couple more categories in. I got one. What you got? Yes. Best game I loved, but TB would hate. Comedy night. <laughs> So I don't get to participate um, in this one, which is totally fine by me. <laughs> I'd say uh, uh, I got a lot of them. Uh, yeah, so one of the ones that I, I would enjoy doing there nothing. Is what remains of Edith Fish? Fitch? 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 Edith Fish. Edith, Edith uh, Fish or Fish? Edith Fish. <laughs> you know, Fitch. all right. I'm actually going to disagree on that because you the like Fitch? Oh, I just haven't God. played it yet. The more I hear about it, the more I think I actually would like it. Because the more I hear about, oh, it's a seamless combination of narrative with actual gameplay elements is like that's the thing i like the most when it's done right so i actually might like that game i just don't know yet okay i i like this you should play it i think you may edith, edith hate it. <laughs> i might 
It I is hope po- for the sake of this possible. category, you hate it. I might hate it. But if you love it, then it, you should because it's a good game. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see. Let I'm trying to remember list. if I played any hidden object games this year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, half the things you play would be on that list, so you're going to have to try pretty hard. I, well, but uh, sometimes you surprise me, TV. What about Men. Night in the Woods, TV? Did you play that? No. Oh, what a precious I Would I have hated it? Probably. I don't think I would have hated it. I don't think you would have hated it, but I think you would have been like, this isn't necessarily for me. It's not maybe my pace, I don't think, but it's the I, don't think I would have despised like, it. Fuck this. Yeah. I, oh, we have a I clear can't. Hellblade is a clear one. Well, yeah, you you know I don't like that. I loved Hellblade. Because so that, that game's okay, basically horror, one. is what that is, and I don't like horror. So I definitely I didn't like Hellblade. Oh, uh, we also know that you hate Dead by Daylight, and I actually got quite a bit of enjoyment out of Dead by Daylight. Because oh, yeah. it is a broken piece of shit, uh, mm. as is Friday the 13th. I hate them uh, both. Oh, yeah. For, Friday the 13th is very bad garbage. <laughs> it's um, incredibly bad Dead by Daylight's game. fun, though. That's bad also. It's not. These hide-and-seek simulators are fucking boring. <laughs> They're made That's only... Perception. Right. They're made... These are games that are only good... If you play them with the right group of people, oh, yeah, on their own, they're shit, and that a lot means of games. then no, actually, quite a yeah. lot of games are very good regardless of who you play them with. Dead by Daylight, Friday the Thirteenth, are utterly useless unless you play them with exactly the right group of people to make them good. But there's so a in lot reality, of games. then you could be playing a better game with that group of people and having even more fun. <clears throat> there's a lot of games you'd play with the group of people that would be very bad. So these games are already ahead of those. Like what? Like No Man's Sky. You can't play that with anybody. It's single player, you doofus. Uh, you could though. <gasps> Good no. use of word. <laughs> doofus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> apt word. Very apt word. It's a good one. Yeah. Um. Let's see. See, so Dead by Daylight's one that would be perfect for this category. Uh, oh. Wolf Quest. When the fuck did you play that? <laughs> uh, me, Sam, G, Mark, Benji played it for an hour. Yeah. I think you have to play it for a bit more than that. Also, you said you, best you, game you I love. <laughs> to a puppy as well. That was yeah. good. Yeah, you know the you know the whole first half of the category that is best game I loved, and I don't think Wolf Quest is on your list of those. <laughs> I loved Wolf Quest. I don't believe you. I became oh. a wolf. I enjoyed the aspects of just wolf nature, the alpha packs, the the, the hunting and nature, the survival. The I don't sheer believe you. power of living with your friends and trying to strike down Gazelle. TB, did you play <laughs> The End is Nigh? No. It's a platformer. That's a, really, that's a really good game that I think you have no interest in. Then also, I would probably hate, I, uh, yes. Really Difficult like platformer? Game. Yes, I hate those. I also refunded Wolf Quest because I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it, but I also hated it. Yeah. Um, there's got to be some other games on this list. What about uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist? It's a card game. <laughs> Why would I hate that? Uh, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! though. <laughs> I don't know if you like it's- Yu-Gi-Oh! It's still a card game. It might not be one of the better ones, but it is a card game. I like card games. Yeah. Did you watch the uh, Twitch stream of the no, ads? It's I mean, Yu Gi Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, Bigfoot. Play Bigfoot? <gasps> when did you play that and when did you love it? <laughs> because I think you're just listing well, games now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listing them to see if you're going to like them or not. That, no, that's not what this category is. <laughs> <laughs> best game you loved but i would hate you try just to ignore the first four words uh well I'd just, probably just player unknown battlegrounds i don't hate player unknown battlegrounds i just don't think it's a great example of what the genre could be because there's too much fucking downtime fortnite's Man, better in that respect this list, um, i've seen a lot of games that i totally forgot i played um hidden see. folks is a game that I think you would hate that I really That's enjoy. a game about it's basically where's it's Waldo. It's literally right? where's Waldo, but like as a hand drawn. I think you mean animated. Wally, but okay. Where's Wally? Where is this Wally? This is America and it's a hand drawn where where's Waldo game. Is Wally? <laughs> where is Wally? 
Ah, yes, the Brit. Wally is British nowhere Brit. because he's not existing. Where on earth could Wally be? Where I have a question. Is Wally? Is what they call where's Waldo in England? Yeah, why wasn't it Waldo in the UK? Hmm. I'm looking who, this up. Who did it first? Because did we it first? fucking it. did it first. Who did it first? You changed it to Waldo for no apparent reason. 1987 is when it was published by Walker Books in the UK. It was then published by Little Brown and Company in the US that changed it to Waldo for no apparent reason. Mm. Probably because, oh, where on earth could Sir Wally be was too long of a title. So it was just called Where's like, Wally. Yeah. That was it. It wasn't that hard, even for Americans. It wasn't oh my, that difficult. Oh my goodness. Where on earth could Sir Wally, my <laughs> Could you explain? <laughs> Where's Sir Wally? Where is Wally? <laughs> Where is Wally? This joke is only funny. <laughs> Some examples of full book names in other countries include <laughs> Ue Charlie. French. Wist Walter. Why are all German. these wrong? Why are they not Waldo? What is Walter? In Denmark, it's Holger. Yes. Holger. Vorher <laughs> Holger. Where's uh, Holger? Norwegian. It's Willy. What Ver is happening? Vorher Willy. Everywhere. That's why we can never find him. He has so many fake IDs. The man oh, is Wally. a spy. He's Monday Esta Wally. That's Spanish. Waldo's his actual name. He started as Wally because he's a spy. He didn't want you to know his real name. No. And it leaked. Right. It leaked also, when he got Wally, to America. Wally's obviously a nickname for Waldo. Waldo is his family name. Yeah. Hmm. Waldo Waldo is his, like Mario Mario. Yeah, it's like John and like Johnny. Like his real name's John, but they call him Johnny. Yeah, because you know? he's a cool dude. They're like Wally. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His yeah. real name's Waldo. Waldo T. Wallerson. Vas ist Wally. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, uh, you know. Yeah, I, pro I probably him. wouldn't like that now. I'll give you that. <laughs> Wait, what were we talking about? Is, a where's, is it a Where's Waldo video game? No. Well, yeah, kind of. Oh, there's, a, there's a that. game that's like, oh. that's like a huge uh area that's just filled with like people and things and they're all very small and oh. you're given a list of a bunch of stuff that you have to find yeah it's um, eye strain simulator 2017 yeah, you, well they've got they've got uh, a a color that you can use where the white is like orange and it it's like way nicer on your eyes so i actually played like that but um yeah, it's cool. Like you can click on all kinds of stuff and music will play or things will open or people will move and it's actually it's a really really cool game. Um, there's yeah. obviously a lot of love put into it, but yeah, that's the sort of game that I think TV probably up. wouldn't. I wouldn't be into that now. I don't think so. Anyone else get any others, and then we'll wrap the show up. Um, let's see. Jess, here. you have a surprising few of these, considering it's your category. Well, I mean, uh, I, I, you know, I was told to like shut up because I gave too many earlier, so I didn't want to like. I'm, okay, I'm giving you permission to <laughs> to nominate at least one more before we end the show. How's that? Uh, sure. I think you would hate the game Stories Untold. I think you're right, because that's basically a bunch of horror vignettes, right? But, like, not horror, more like... Literally one of them is figuring out code and then turning and tuning in the code and then going back and figuring out more code... All so you can get to the scare. Oh, I think you would hate. Oh, that. lovely, <laughs> great You'd be work. Like, I'm doing this to then be scared. That's work <laughs> before being scared, which I don't like. So those are two things I don't like. Yes, I yeah. think you. I think you found it. I think you win. Actually, that category. Those are both things that uh, I hate. What about uh, Escapist Two, this is a good game. I don't think I'd hate that at all. It's pretty awesome. I like the original uh, Escapist. Okay. Yeah, like you don't even know what he hates, Crendork. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't, he's not my real friend. We now, know this. I'll have you know that Waldo's my real friend. You know, we can test friends this. With Wallies. We'll play that Fibbage variant where we put in stuff about each other, and I bet Crendor oh will God, know none of it. <laughs> we actually <laughs> really, really should do that. I'm not sure why we haven't done it yet, but yeah. We should. Yes. We really should. Cool. Well, that was uh, three hours of bullshit. And we've got three more hours of fake awards bullshit coming next week. And we're getting rid of Crendor. Wow. And replacing wow. it with Angry Joe, wow. who is much more popular. Why'd you get rid of me?
I, I only got great categories like best version of Skyrim or games that should have won yeah, game of the year at the game know, awards we, like we, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. We we never got to those, but we're going to steal them for next week's show. You made a great point. <laughs> Not only are we, uh, we're going to use them, but you won't be here, which is even okay. better. Right. So very I'll good. I'll be here in spirit. Mm. You'll be in the chat, no doubt. You will be haunting us. That's true. Yes. That's yeah. In the ghost of Crendor will linger on. <laughs> you might be sleeping. Indeed. <laughs> you could, yeah. I, you know what? I could actually be. That's okay as well. That's fine. Those <laughs> are all remember, good things. I'll always be in here. Mm. That's slight, shirt, slightly slightly below. I'm wearing a shirt right where now, the so cam actually shows. You know, but that's okay. That's Is fine. Is it the shirt with the sloth on it? Is it a Crendor brand shirt? It's the shirt that has the slots for like working out on it. Is it no, the workout shirt? But it could be if you went to crensloth.com and bought my new oh, merchandise. Gross. <laughs> Do you see? I, I gave you the opportunity for that, Grinder. I took that opportunity. Oh, I see it. an alley oop when I see it. <laughs> they're, they're in. I they're know in what I know. Ready to launch me over the wall. <laughs> they're in cahoots. I've seen it. They're doing this coffee bullshit, and now they're selling this this clothes. This is a scam. A collaboration. I see an alley hoop when I see it. How white can Crandall get? Is a good question. Says, says the whitest man in the room. As an expert in such things. Uh, what's coming? Jesse, what's coming up on your channel this week? Please tell us. <coughs> oh, oh, God. Um, Man, uh, this week. I'm be caught up in the world of Star Wars, so I'm oh, literally God. leaving to oh, go yeah. watch Star Wars three days in a row. It's gonna be great. But in the meantime, uh, there's yeah. gonna there's gonna be some Life is Strange on the channel with Dukes and uh, some other fun stuff. So look forward to that. But yeah, I'm gonna be watching Star Wars like twelve times this week. So okay, just so you're all aware. Dodger, what's going on for you? What's going on this week? Um, I will also be going out of town uh, to see Star Wars. <laughs> But you can find myself at Dex Bonus on pretty much everything. And I'm trying to think if there's anything specific going on. Uh, tune in to Vlogmas. We're on day 11 of Vlogmas. And it's been very fun on YouTube.com. Not, Not for me. What do you mean not for you? You just I, don't like the fisheye. But dude, I take the, the fisheye out. The last thing is to be wider on a camera. I nah. take the fisheye out. There's and a preset for that. It, it's not it, 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 like, Can someone it, go in and just say, hey, Arnold? It, it literally, then there's then she films it in like the darkest places, so I look like a huge monster <laughs> beat. That's not true. It's that like the deep cool. sea. That was just because we were seeing Die Hard the Musical and they needed mood lighting. That was a great musical, by the way. It sounds like you're in the deep ocean. It's like a fish eye lens. You're a fish. You're in the underwater. Mm, Terrifying. Yes, in the fish. Going with this. I don't know yes. why she films that way. I couldn't <laughs> tell you what is going on in her head. It's Someone's like she's going to drown one day. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, please check out my coffee at DodgerCoffeeCo.com. That's it. All right. Cool. And Crando, you've already done your promo. You don't get to do it again. Well, I didn't do youtube.com slash wowcrando where you can see my review of Dodger Coffee. It's a great review. I reviewed it. Ten minutes of me reviewing coffee, brewing it. Uh, you know, again, it's not a dark roast as I thought, but it is a pretty good uh, high-quality medium uh, roast. It's the dark roasts so, of coffee. Yeah. Um, also, I stream on Twitch, Twitch TV Crendor. Check it out. Also, on both of those platforms, I've just been playing a lot of Hearthstone and Dungeon Runs. Those have been pretty fun. I like Dungeon Runs. Dungeon Runs are good. Yeah. And uh, Krensloth.com for all your Krensloth merchandise needs. Very strong stuff. And then, you know, Cox and Crendor. We do a podcast. Check it out. SoundCloud.com slash Cox and Crendor and YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor podcast or animations on YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor. Alternatively, you get your merchandise from TotalBiscuit.shop, which is much better. No question about that. False. And other than that, this week, Shoutcraft Kings on Sunday for $10,000, the ultimate Starcraft King of the Hill. And it should be great. Tune in at twitch.tv slash TotalBiscuit at 8 in the morning if you happen to be on the East Coast, or 1 p.m. in the British Isles if you happen to be in a sensible place. You know what? Just watch the VODs. That's okay as well. We don't mind. Either way. Did you way, know that I, uh, I lost to the giant rat? <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching the Corpse Soul Podcast. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.